Now, say my name. Eisenberg. You're goddamn right. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. You asked for it. Live from Las Vegas, doing my show. I guess this is kind of really a Access Vegas show. When I'm in Vegas, it might as well be. Right. Anyways, here's your midweek stream. I have Michael Sartain, and I have Gary Grinsberg. Grin- Grinberg. Gary Grinberg. Gary Grinberg. Gary numbers guy, whatever you want to call there him. There you bro. go. Gary the numbers guy. The is, original has, G. Has, has actually flown out here and answered the call. Thank you for doing that. The first thing I want to tell you is thank you for being the first one to, take, good, to take this challenge. Because uh, a lot of people have have, uh, have a problem with me. And they, I'm not well, saying you do, but like a lot of people have a problem with me. And they always want these debates. And I'm like, okay, fine. Here's a place that we can come and have a formalized debate. Let's do it. You're the Sounds first person good. to answer the call. So, well, I'm going to I'm, I'm gonna say this, man. I'm being a coward is nowhere to live life. <laughs> can you uh, can you give my audience a, a little bit of your background first? Okay. I, like, we got to introduce you. So, so first of all, um, a lot of you guys in uh, I'm assuming Red Pill might know what astrology is, and you guys understand that you know chicks do this stuff, and they say Libra, Mercury, and it sounds like a bunch of gibberish, and it sounds like a bunch of bullshit to be honest. But see, if you have a car and you put a woman in the car and she can't drive a stick and this car doesn't move, you don't blame the car, do you? You blame the practitioner. So I'm basically here to tell you guys, all that astrology nonsense you heard in the past, I'm here to have to set the record straight. Because what you're looking at is the first person in their profession who's ever been invited to the White House under the Trump administration. And we'll go more into my history Are you a the later. official astrologer for the Trump administration? <laughs> would, you, would you say you're the official This is what I'm going to say. This is what I'm going to say. I'm going to say December 2020, when the, all the walls were closing in, mm-hmm. I was the one they called to I mean, invite Nancy, to the White Nancy House. Nancy Reagan had her own. Uh, 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 it, that was an astrologer. That was an astrologer. His name was Mr. Quigley. And Mr. Quigley, no, I'm not, not kidding. That was his name. Uh-huh. And Mr. Quigley would go around setting the schedule through Nancy Reagan for Ronald Reagan. But the problem was Reagan's cabinet thought she was cuckoo. So, you know, you had a little problem here where the wife is pulling you on the one end and the, your people are pulling you on the other. So I understand that. But when it comes to numerology, which, by the way, supersedes astrology, um, I'm the guy. Just so we're clear, because this is one of the things, it's uh, the no true Scotsman thing. Exactly. It's like these yeah, other people, with that. these mm-hmm. other astrologers are fake. These other numerologists are fake, but you're not. That's the no, argument. I, I'm, I'm going to make this thing. It's all about what can you show? Can you actually, what oh, have you done I, in I, this field? I think we agree on what that. What have you yeah. done in this mm-hmm. field? doesn't matter what you do in life. Are you the best of the best at what you do? And then when it comes down to it, the fact is everyone else is broke. I actually got mine. For sure. But I, I, think, I think what's maybe more important is what you can show empirically and what objective truths that you can prove, prove and what things you can actually predict. And that's what we're going to do today. We, we mm-hmm. can. We can. And we can go back and forth. But some of those things, like I'll, I'll get, just, just skip ahead here. Like, mm-hmm. like um, We'll talk about the 2016 uh, uh, championship with the, the, the Cavs, right? And I followed that whole thing okay. very clearly. When Kyrie Irving born in 1992, okay. you're the monkey. Okay. Hit so, the game when so, he so shot so in let, 216, so right? So again, and I'll let you you're go the that whole thing. But let's, let's try something different. Mm-hmm. The year before in 2015, Kyrie Irving broke his kneecap open. Yes. And, and Kelly Olynyk pulled um, uh, Kevin Love's arm out of socket. Correct. And, and the Cavs still gave... The, the Warriors a fucking beat. Not, they almost won that, that series. Yeah, Andre and Kudawa ne- beat him. Yeah, and the next year, and the next year, uh, once that happened, w- you know, I, I predicted the Cavs to win the championship, and then Draymond Green gets suspended, and then mm-hmm. you go on a news article, uh, news program, and you start predicting that the Cavs are going to win. I think I, I actually I made that prediction in 2014 that the Cavs would win the NBA Finals in 2016. That's why they had me on the news. But my Twitter account got suspended. That's what happens when you you know you say too many truths. Your Twitter accounts get yeah, just like you. You got your Twitter account suspended. So yeah. I said that in 2014, and then they suspended my Twitter account. So it wasn't 2016. Got I it. said it. I said 2014. Right, but I just don't know necessarily. Like I think a lot of people would. 
would have thought the Cavs would have won that championship. I don't think that necessarily proves against the numerology. against a seventy three and nine team, the that, best that, record in that, NBA history. That went down. That, 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 that went is, down three one. Uh -huh. That were already down three one to the Oklahoma City and, Thunder and, and, beforehand. Correct. And and almost got their ass beat the time before in the finals when Kyrie and Kevin Love were uh -huh. injured. Well, now a lot of people hold on watching this. They're like, I don't keep up with basketball. Yeah. The point is that was an educated guess. LeBron James was the best player in the world at the time. My, but my point is a lot of the predictions, like you also did mm -hmm. predict that Donald Trump was going to win the election in twenty twenty, and that wasn't correct. So the thing is like we're mm -hmm. si we're sitting there the election was stolen my friend okay that's fine but, but again numerology should account and, and for that. no 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 i numerology actually I, should account I, for that I, actually i said the election would be stolen and again that twitter account got suspended right so again we can go back and right. forth but i actually said certain things let me go back to the yeah. Cavs 216 yeah. uh when Ka yeah, when the team just just for my clarification what exactly did you predict i predicted that? the Cavs would mm -hmm. come back from 3-1 down and win the nba finals I went on the news and said it. You actually saw it. Mm -hmm. you go, everyone can go on YouTube, Cavs, Gary the Numbers Guy, and you'll see it yourself. The point is... I don't from, think they were hold, down 3-1 at the time. I think they were. I think it was 3-2 at the time when you okay. made the prediction. I, they yeah. were still down. And, so, then, uh, and then Draymond so, had been, so, been suspended. So the whole point is this. In NBA history, 0-32 were teams that actually were down 3-1. None of them won. I called the first one. In the finals. Oh, yes. In the finals. I was the yeah, first not, one who called not, it. Not in NBA playoffs, obviously. The biggest stage is the finals. <sighs> the the just the previous mm -hmm. series, the Golden State Warriors were down three one to uh down to Oklahoma City, which is why I thought that they had some serious problems. Mm -hmm. And that's why I didn't think they were gonna win that championship. Well, I I'll tell you what, um my little uh, betting slips that year, mm -hmm. they say it all because I had all my money in the Cavs. Everyone in my group had their money in the Cavs. And again, I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. I'm human. Right. What I'm basically trying to say is I'm I'm not going to be the one who's going to say everything I say is going to be 100% true. Right. I'm trying to tell you I'm better than everyone else at it. Got that's it. But, it. but do you see how that's problematic, though? Because one of the issues is if I'm supposed to, like, where have you won the lottery? And if I'm supposed to follow you and sometimes you're wrong, then this mm -hmm. is not a predictable, testable model that you're putting out with numerology. So, and so you want me to win the lotto. Is that what you're telling me? I mean, me? if you're a numerologist, I, I do think that would be kind okay, of... Okay, so uh, let me uh, tell you, this okay. is well, people have came to me and asked me that stuff before. So here's the thing. If the odds of winning the lotto are 100 million to one for you, sure. it'll be 100 to 1,000 to me. I'm still not going to hit that 100 to 1,000, but my odds will be a lot better. Again, it goes back to the point where I'm saying I can do it better than anyone else because of my ability to understand numerology and astrology. That's it. I'm not going to win the lotto. For, right. uh, for all we know, the lotto is fixed by the CIA as a money laundering operation. So I, that's probably not the best example. Or, or, or another example would be then just run a hedge fund and then just go ahead and start running. Yeah, money. I consult you know, many hedge fund managers. Right, but then but you wouldn't even be, you'd be coming in here on a fucking spaceship if that was the case. Like that would be I, so I much money. I consult with billionaires. I, understand, I, I get that, man. But that then your your picks would be so much better and you'd be able to document it. And no one would ever, here, here's, here, mm -hmm. here, this is what I'm saying here. Let's mm -hmm. try this instead. Okay. I'm going to do this a different way. Okay. So the scientific scrutiny against what you're saying about numerology and astrology, mm -hmm. just get rid of it. It's very easy. All you have to do is run a fund that does better than, than the, the medallion fund. That's all you have okay. to do is beat their returns and then show it. But you need to start from a certain point and go through another point. Then you need to accurately predict the invasion of Ukraine and you need to actively, the day of, the accurately predict the invasion I, of Ukraine. I, I, I actually it. did that. Again, uh, can you I'm, please put that up on Twitter, how I, uh, I said the Ukraine war would start in 2022, in 2021? I actually yeah, said but that did, on did Twitter. Did you say in March that it was going to start? Was, I said it was, I got the year. Why? Well, see, this is what I'm trying no, to but, say. But we I all, got the we, year. Well, we I got the knew, year. We all knew that they were putting troops up there. That was again. That's not a test. Not not everyone knew that. Even the Ukrainian president said they're not invading. No, he may have said that they're not invading, but we did see that they were putting troops on the board. Well, maybe you and I saw it, but most people didn't. So the fact of the matter is my, that, per, my prediction no, is valid. You don't need numerology to predict. I'm not saying you like needed numerology for that one, but I'm saying the numerology led me to the same conclusion as common sense. So here's the point. If you have common sense and you see evidence pointing to a certain direction, no matter where you get it from, you're going to say, okay, this is the way it's going to be. So for instance, uh, Ukraine. So are you saying common sense would be more practical than the numerology. numerology? It's the, actually the same thing when you actually start thinking about it. So why don't we just one call, plus it, why don't we just call one, it common plus one, sense? One plus one is always going to equal two. Right. Same thing with numerology. It, math is the only universal language there is. Let me, let me start a little bit so people can understand where I'm coming from. Let me tell a little bit of people about my past, and then we can go back sure. to the questions. Mm -hmm. Okay? So 9-11. Uh, that was the, one of the biggest days in world history, and it was the day that changed my life. I woke up. I saw the TV. I think I'm watching the movie Die Hard. Okay? All of a sudden, I'm thinking, wait a second. Flight 11 hit the World Trade Center that looks like an 11 side by side. They both have 110 stories. Let's see here. New York's the 11th state in the union. New York City, 11 letters. Hmm. 
all this stuff. And I'm like, wait a second, what's going on here? Is this a coincidence? Because that's what someone with common sense would start thinking. Is this a coincidence? But see, I know history and I've always studied history. You said you were into history too. When did the Great War end? The Great War, War I, ended on 11 at 11 at exactly 11 o'clock. They were still firing bullets at each other at 1055. But at 11, they all stopped. At that point, I'm like, okay, I don't know what's going on, but I see smoke. Because that's what common sense is telling me. At some point, it stops being a coincidence. When I see that Al-Qaeda attacked America on 9-11, I'm like, okay, that's one thing. Then when you see that Al-Qaeda attacked Mumbai, India on July 11th. I think and it then it, July then it, 26th when they attacked Mumbai. No, it was the 11th. The 11th? You can okay. Actually, look it up because I already used this yeah. example many times. And then they attacked Spain on the 11th too. Those are the three biggest attacks in Al-Qaeda's history. So I'm thinking, okay. So now it's getting to the point where do people out there actually know something that other people don't? Because why are they doing things on specific events? Let's talk about the pandemic. The World Health Organization called COVID-19 COVID-19 on February 11th. Why did they pick the 11th? And guess what? They said it was an official pandemic on March 11th. So you tell me, when does this stop being a coincidence? Because they Be- keep doing because, this over because, and over because, on big events. Because the Civil War did not end on the 11th, and neither did the neither did World War II. Like, again, you're cherry. This is called, I'm not cherry picking. I'm again, picking the again, biggest is, events in this, history. This is, no, again, World War I is not a bigger event than World no, War I II. Ju- I just said World War I ended on 11-11. Exactly. World, World War I did. World mm-hmm. War II was a bigger event. World War I killed. That's in your killed, opinion. That's in your opinion. World War I killed 100 million people. It was a bigger that, event. Is your opinion? What was the World day? War One led we, to World War Two? No. You can't got, have one without the other. Find this out for me. When did we go to war with Vietnam? Seventies. Yeah, okay. nineteen sixty-five. No, it was do the, we know the, 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 the French do we know were always the date? There. Again, like you are cherry picking. This, is, the, this is called the Texas. Ended. This is called the Texas sharpshooter fallacy. Okay, where you cherry pick different ideas, but you can't. It, what would happen? A coincidence would actually be if every war ended on eleven, or if a predominance of wars ended on the eleven. No, That's no, not what's no, going no. On. I, I, I disagree because see, what happens is when you look at and I'll bring sports examples. When you look at an example, uh, Steph Curry at the line, he hits ninety percent of his free throws. Another guy hits sixty percent. So you're basically what you're doing is saying. Oh, none of this is valid because you don't hit 100%. That is not how the game works. No. I'm trying to tell you, if you look at what I'm saying, most of the biggest events in history will line up with exactly what I'm saying. But it's not even most. It's like not even partially most. It's just you've cherry picked. Tell, tell me a, a bigger event than 9 11 in our history. Uh, well, the, the, uh, a bigger event? The, the, the bombing, pandemic? The bombing, the bombing of Pearl Harbor. That was a bigger event than 9 11? Yes, because it and ended it's up since we, since me and you've been alive, 500, modern day okay, history. So you just said that now. 500,000 American troops died in World War II. It was a bigger event than 9 11. 3,000 people died in 9 11. It's horrible. I went to war for our country because of 9 11. Mm-hmm. I, I understand what okay. you're saying. But the biggest thing that had happened before that was. was in our the, lifetimes, Obama. the biggest thing is 9 11. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I mean, I could say the biggest thing. Yeah, for sure. Okay. I could say that. And yeah. I just break down the whole thing about how 9 11 happened on the left. What I'm basically trying to tell you is it doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter what you believe. It doesn't matter what I believe. It doesn't matter what the people who are listening believe. It matters what the people in positions of power are doing. And if you see what the people in positions of power through the history, they're always planning events under certain dates. For instance, uh, Wall Street crashed on October 29, 1929. Two and nine is 11. So before people say I'm cherry picking, let me explain how numerology works. There's only three. There's only three. There's only three possible ways to become an 11 or to be a part of the 11 energy. One is to be born on 11. Second is to be born on the 29th. Two and nine is 11. And the last way is to be like Kobe Bryant. Kobe's born 8-23-1978. 8-23-1978 adds up to 38. 38 is 11. Now, the reason 11 is not broken down is because it's a master number. 11, 22, and 33 are all master numbers. I'll show you an example. Why, how, why, why were, would those be master? Why it, would they it, be it, more it, important than like it, any it, other it, number? It's basically like AM and FM radio on completely different wavelengths. How is that measured? How are the wavelengths measured? It's, how is the energy ba- base, and those numbers measured against basically, other numbers? Basically, people who are 11s, people who are 22s, people who are 33s have basically dominated society. Example, Barack Obama. How do you, how, wait, wait, let the, me explain. What's the metric for an important number versus an unimportant? The people who are actually have so those numbers. So the numerology is is dependent on the person itself. No, the numerology is when a person is born, they're imprinted with energy. Okay, so if someone's how, born, what, I'll, what kind of energy? Like, okay, I'll give you an example. Part. I'll give you an example. If someone is born on the eleventh, they're going to be born with charisma. 
People who are born on the 11th have a lot of charisma. Now, how do I actually prove this? Because me saying it means nothing. I can prove the fact that the number one podcaster in the world, Joe Rogan, is born on the 11th. I can say the guy who started podcasting, the crazy French guy, Alex Jones, is born on the 11th. I can say the person who made it from nowhere, Candace Owens, born on the 29th, 2 and 9 is 11. I can bring up Aiden Ross, born on the 11th. How does a punk-ass kid like him make it big? Because he's born on the 11th, and people who are born on the 11th have charisma. This is a yeah, fact. But but then there's there's hundreds of examples of people. I just gave you I just gave you the top guys in the game. But it doesn't. But it doesn't matter. No 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 no. Also, You're Aiden, telling me Aiden Ross is not the top guy in the game. Uh, Joe Rogan is, but that's the problem. That does, first off, the, the Mumbai attacks were on the 26th. I just looked it up. Not, yeah, the, 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 the other thing, I'll show you the, the pictures of it. Okay. The other thing is th this concept of like Aiden Ross. You cherry pick. You brought up this one example that that uh, uh, that Michael Jordan and. Um, Who's the Kobe Bryant. No, not Kobe Bryant. Oh, the same birthday. Jim Brown. Uh, Jim Brown have the same birthdays. And your example was that Michael Jordan was the greatest basketball player of all time. Do you disagree? Time. Of course he is. And then and then and that the idea that Jim Brown was possibly the greatest football player of all time. Well, no, but Jim Brown isn't even the best running back of all time. You cherry picked and went down. Well, 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 according to Barry Sanders, he is the best but, running back but, of all time. According, Barry but, Sanders but according, retired but, but, okay, just again, not to beat that guy's uh, record. Uh, so uh, so okay, you're okay, saying he's not, but Barry Sanders, okay, the guy who okay, played again, the game, said every, he is. Everyone else, the NFL's top 100 and everyone else who voted, don't even put him in the top three as far as uh, as far as Jim Brown is concerned. He's a great player, mm. but to say he's better than, say, just even throw out Jerry Rice, Joe Montana or uh, Tom Brady. I was talking about running backs. Well, but you, but again, that's not what you said. In the thing you said, the greatest football player of all time. The Hotep Jesus interview is still up there. Mm -hmm. And the point is, you cherry picked. You went down the list of football players to find one that had the same birth date as Michael Jordan. This is the Texas uh, sharpshooter fallacy. That's what I'm saying. But before. I'm giving you examples of the top people in that's the game. Not, that's when not I say that's when I say works. Michael Jordan is the top guy in the game, mm -hmm. most people who actually understand basketball would say that because Michael Jordan's born 217, 1963. But that's not why he's. That's not why he's. The no, top that's exactly why he is. It's because not. he's an 11, and 11s have the best ability when it comes to becoming athletes. He's, he's the best basketball player ever because the man was a psychopath with a 45-inch vertical who, who literally led the league and scored. He scored 37 Be, points. Because he was an 11. And, and, uh, oh, it's because okay, of you genetics. Know what? No. Like, it's not because – and because, because of determination. Because of, because of both. Because his father didn't because accept him. Because what? his father accepted what? Larry. I got, his brother I, got, I, got, I got a question. Do we know when Tiger Woods was born? 12, 30, 1975. Is he an 11? Hold on, hold on. 12, 30, 1975, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 9, 75, adds up to 28. 28, it's number of wealth. He is one of the richest athletes in the world, just like LeBron James, born on the same day as him, 12, 30, 1984. And again, these guys care about their money a lot more than Michael Jordan cared about his charisma but would you and his say empire. that Tiger Woods is one of the best golf players in history? Yeah, ones and 11s are, and ones, ones and 11s are the athletes. And 11. Ones and 11s are the athletes, So now we're, one, now we're ones. So one the there, there's not just one it's like a prime number. I'm like I'm trying to get the math here. The, like, the what's, math what's is the, the math number? is very simple. People who are athletes, athletes start with A. A is the first letter. By the way, the English language is collected in numerology. It's called gematria or letterology. So if you go down the list, people who are ones actually are really good athletes and people who are 11s. We can go down the list and you'll see nothing but ones and 11s pretty much with all no, the we'll, main We'll sports. actually see other things besides ones and 11s. That's the main, if, that's if, the main if, thing if, you're going to see, it, though. Yes. No, it isn't, actually. In actually, fact, it is. In fact, they just did a study uh, where they looked at billionaires in China under their different astrological signs, and they've actually found... I don't like, do astrological like, signs. Okay, well, no, these are year of the snake, mm -hmm. year of the rat, year okay. of those astrological signs, mm -hmm. Chinese astrology. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, they found that like actually the ones that were supposed to be the poorest, that was the most common astrological signs for Chinese billionaires. These, okay, I, I can't when, comment when, on other when, people's when work. You, when, but when you do anything, like the University of Cambridge did multiple studies on this and found that like you made the statement before that Geminis are more likely to suffer from mental disorder. There is no evidence to support this whatsoever. There have been numerous studies to do this. There's one study where they did 10,000 men who, re -en who enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps and try to see if their astrological signs m lined up with Mars. They lined up with Venus more often than Mars. I don't do that astrology. Well, I, I, That's what I'm trying again, to tell you. But you're you, trying to tell again, me about again, that chick again, stuff. Again, I don't do that. Again, one, one more time. I heard you on another show yes. sit there and talk about Gemini. You talked about Aquarius and you talked about That Pisces. is not what I'm known for. I am known for but Chinese still, astrology but you, but you still, and I'm known you, for you, numerology. You, you might need, you're trying to bring no, hold other hold stuff hold into you, it. No, I don't not, do too I'm much. Not, you I don't even teach that stuff that much. I got you. But you might want to ask Kotep Jesus to take that video down because there's no need to. Because there's no reason you did, to. You did talk about what's called Greco-Roman astrology. Uh -huh. You talked about on numerous cases, or Vedic astrology. They ha, use very ha, similar have signs. you ever talked about ballet dancers? Uh, probably not. No, right, you've never in your life one time mentioned ballet dancers. What's her name? Jenna Jameson used to be a ballet dancer. Okay, so you probably mentioned Alexander it sometime. Does Cortez, that make you? Perhaps. Does that make you? <laughs> <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. There's a ballet dancer. There you go. Good stuff. The car thief, right? Yeah. Anyways, what I'm basically trying to say is just because you say something once doesn't mean you're an expert on the subject. Sure. Okay? I brought up 
Western astrology. I don't even teach that okay. stuff. I teach Chinese astrology, and we can go into that if you want to. Mm -hmm. I can bring up the fact that John Jones, born 1987, the year of the cat, won his first UFC title in 2011, the cat year. In the cat's enemy year, the rooster, he got stripped of the title in 2017, and then again in 2013, the year of the cat, he question. becomes a champion I got, again. I got a question. I'm, I'm, I'm the newbie here. I'm trying yeah. to f parse out like how you come to these conclusions. So, like for instance, mm -hmm. I'm looking at Tiger Woods. December 30th, 19th. 12th month, 1, 2, all right, 30th, okay. 3, 0, uh, 1975, 1, 9, 7, 5. How, what's his number? Okay. So, how, how, do so, I, how do I come to the, okay. the, num the number? So, right? so you do 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 0 is 6. 1, 9, 7, 5 is 22. 22 and 6 is 28. Then you reduce. 2 and 8 is 10. 1 and 0 oh and 0. So he's a one life path. Why do you reduce? Because you have to come down to the... Do you reduce with... Do you reduce with other other dates. only only numbers you don't reduce with are master numbers because master numbers well, are in a different wave i'll well, give you an example I, i'm still curious it's like okay. how do you come to the conclusion that one number is like because it's just, more just, just, than just, just think important. of it this way 11 22 33 everything that's doubled up is called a master number for a reason i'll give you an example mm -hmm. vladimir lenin who started the Soviet Union, was born on the 22nd. The Soviet Union came to power in 1922 because he's the one who led it. George Washington, born on the 22nd, helped start America. People who are born on the 22nd are master builders. You're into sports. Who's arguably the best coach in NFL history? I, I've heard you say this before. Bill uh, Parcells. You, you think of Parcells because he was the tutor exactly. for Belichick. Exactly. Belichick won more, but yeah, Parcells Okay, was so we coach. can say that Bill Parcells coaching tree, and again, it extends to Bill Belichick's coaching tree, is probably the most extensive in the NFL. He is born on the 22nd. So what basically I'm trying to say is people born with certain on certain dates have certain abilities. And if you actually use this as a psychological method, you'll actually see that people have certain abilities. For instance, if you're born on the first, you're good at arguing. If you're born on the fifth, you're good at talking to the ladies. When you're born, Michael? The fifth. Here I we see. Go. Here okay. we go. Here we go. Not good. So, yeah. so, so uh, again, we are going to bring up examples of this stuff, not the stuff I don't talk about, Mike. Did you have another question? No, I was, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm still confused as to what would make a one more powerful than like a nine. What, what, what are nines? Mm, okay. For, for instance. Is it, uh, so, because what I'm trying to get okay, at okay, is, okay, is, is if you're going to say that a one is different than a two, the three, four, nine, all the way. Okay. Let me give, let me give, let me, let me give some examples then. People who are ones are leaders. Even women who are ones have leadership abilities. Sheryl Sandberg, CFO of Facebook. So people who have one energy. I don't know if I listen, 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 listen. Leaders, but go ahead. 90, 80, 85% of women have no leadership abilities. Mm -hmm. But the women who are born in the first, 10th, 19th, 28th, because they have the male energy, one is male energy, they have those leadership abilities. Napoleon was a one life path. He was a leader. People who are born in the second are good at writing. Don't you have a best-selling book? I've got a few. Yeah, uh, I see. Also, I said see. people born on the second are more feminine. That's another they, thing. They that can be. They yeah. can be. But the problem is, like these are the, what you're saying is you have this idea that, like, well, it's not an exact science, and sometimes I can be wrong. But you actually want this taught in schools when we have a bunch of edu uneducated people who don't understand science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. You want people in schools to learn numerology, one hundred percent, and astrology when it's not even exact science. It's not even a science because you don't. No, use no, it, it actually is. A it science. isn't a science because in science, what you're going to do is try to disprove your own hypothesis and you don't you cherry pick certain people's birthdays that happen to fit with whatever you're doing if we were to take a population wide mm -hmm. survey which I've, i can show you 13 of them w there, that is not possible because there's seven or eight billion people on the planet the only thing is possible is we can take the people at the top that everyone knows about and show examples with them that's not the only no thing no possible. that's the only it's thing we can do possible. how are we going to measure eight billion people you don't on the have planet? To measure. you can measure exactly four. you can measure you can measure the the population of the united states you can, i, you, you I, I can i can you tell you I, census i can tell you 28th number of wealth i can tell you the richest man in the world as Elon Musk, and he's born on the 28th. I can say the guy who used to be the richest man in the world before Musk took over was Bill Gates, born on the 28th. I can say Steve Jobs, born 224, 1955. Two, two, Again, four, this is not eight, this is not 1955 is a 28. Hold on. He started Apple on 4-1, <laughs> 1976, adds up to 28. You're laughing, but he's a billionaire using this stuff. Yeah, but That's the fact. It, it, You're it, it, laughing, it, but he's a billionaire using this information. He wasn't using this information. He did not use tell, the information tell me, of when he was born. He, no, no, he actually it, did. No, he did not use the information of when he was born to build Apple. He How used, do you know that? He used Steve Wozniak to help him build no, Apple. Steve, 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 Steve Wozniak created the Apple computers. Right. He actually created the brand. Well, I know I agree with that, but that this what whole idea is like Steve Wozniak. Seven, yeah. genius. 
Yeah, genius just, starts with G. G is again, the seventh so, letter. But again, if we were to do that, if we were to go through and look at people born on the seventh and test their but, IQs. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes, you will. If you go on. It, yes, you will. Because I actually talk to teachers and they tell me their students born in the seventh, that is not 16th, a scientific 25th. Survey. That's nope. not scientific at all. That's How not is that scientific? Close. It's scientific. What you'd have to do is you'd have to have a population level study of like maybe 60,000 people. And you would uh -huh. test people not born on the 7th. You would test all the other dates versus the 7th. And you would find some sort of positive correlation. There's no positive correlation whatsoever between somebody born on the 7th mm -hmm. and their IQ. None. Mm -hmm. Zero. There is no po oh, one more time. There is. there is no positive correlation between billionaires and people born on the 28th. Absolutely none. Then why is the Just richest man in the world born again, on the 28th? Explain, because, that. Because Explain because you that. that. Because you don't understand Explain. science. Explain. Because, because you don't understand one how normal distribution. Out of 30. One out of 30 no, is 3%. It, it one out of 30 is 3%. He, he even Bill count. Gates is the guy who used to be the richest even, guy in the world. He doesn't even count as 1%. Why he doesn't he count? Because you said so? He doesn't count as even 1% of the billionaires on this planet. That's the problem. The rich. And, 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 and seven, the normal what, look, it up, look it up, David. I believe, normal, I believe seven eight. out of the... Uh, no, three of the richest seven people in the world are born on the 28th. Look it, it, it up. Again, the normal distribution of billionaires, mm -hmm. we're not going to find that most of them were born yeah, on the 28th. You actually will. You will not. You actually will. You will not. Well, and, tell and me, not, tell not only that, well, you'll not. Tell me why. Tell me I'm why. Gonna put, I'm going to put a tell link Tell me in, why Musk in born chat. on the 28th is the richest man in the world then. That has, tell me why. Again, he's the richest man in the world because and, and first who he did he replace? PayPal. And who did he replace? Again, again. Again, Bill Gates, last century, the guy, richest guy in the world, born on the 28th. This doesn't prove anything. How These does not prove a, it when the richest guy in the world this decade, last decade, switches, but they're still born on the 20th? It, it, Let's do some math. So, no, Let's do some probability math. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Let, me, let, me, let me direct traffic here. Okay. So first off, the idea is correlation and causation. Is the correlation the causation or is the causation correlation? Is like how do you – Find out in a scientific with the scientific method that what you're saying because what you're arguing for at this point is really that correlation is causation. So look at all these these coincidences here. That's what you call them. Well, no. Here's the thing: is okay. So coincidence, whatever we want to call them. You're looking at a series of incidents, right? That all coincide. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to say that so and so was born on the 28th, this guy's born on the 28th, uh, Tiger Woods. I don't know how you how the math works out. If you're looking at these little statistics or these stats here with these with these individual people, what you're saying is there's a predictable framework amongst Correct. all of this. So what would happen is if somebody was born today and they happen to be on the 28th, then the, if we track that person, that person is destined to some sort of greatness or something like that. Mm -hmm. So what I'm asking is mm -hmm. how, what is the process? What is the scientific, measurable, testable, experimental process that says, if I watch this kid who was just born today on I don't know, April 28th or coming up pretty soon, right? That kid is going to be the next billionaire. What's the process okay. to figure that let out? Me, let me say this. Um, number one, I will post something on Twitter after I'm done with the show, that will prove that 28s are the richest people in the world. Now, does that mean everyone born on the 28th is gonna be rich? No. No, if what, I, what, if what, I, what, hold on, hold on, hold on. There is so there's no, so it's a there's not even a distribution a that even shows they're even 1% wealthier. There is none. There have been multiple studies on this. There is no distribution that shows that people born on the 28th are any wealthier or people born on the 7th have so, a higher so, IQ. So that's what you Absolutely. say. That's what you say. Irre irrefutable. But, but, unassailable. No, but when you look at true. the actual richest people in the world or the smartest people in the world, you will see like, for instance, uh, what's his name? He freaking died. Steve Hawking. Mm -hmm. Stephen Hawking was a seven of life path. Again, most people but would say... But he wasn't born on the 7th. He was 1-8-1942. Okay, so you're, you're, you're just... You're just... I, you're I know. I, I'm not. Numbers. I said... But you are, I said, and this is not scientific. This, this is not. Again, you're not letting me speak. Okay. I said there's a, two ways to do it. If you're a 7, if you're a 3, if you're a 5, either born... If you're a 5 life path, for instance, you're born on the 5th, 14th, 1 in 4 is 5, 23rd, or your total number adds up to 5. Those are... If the total number adds up to five, it's called a life path. If you're born on a certain day, that's the day number you're born on. So, again, this is all confusing to people. I understand that. But here's the whole point. If you guys want examples of this, people who are born on the 5th, 14th, 23rd are the most attractive people in the world. Go on Facebook, put in those dates, and you'll see it with yourself. It's very simple. See, that's the thing about numerology. I always wondered why some people were rich. Now I understand why. They're born on the 28th or they're 8th. I always want to understand why some people were actually, uh, you know, really funny. Well, people born on the 3rd, 12th, 21st, or 30th are the funny ones. Chris Rock, Roseanne Barr. When you look at things from an everyday perspective and you start looking at it, through these lenses of understanding how numerology and astrology works, you start looking at the world in a completely different way. Let me just say a few things. Michael Jordan, born 217, 1963, 11 life path, mentored Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant, born 8 uh, 1978, 
mentored Kyrie Irving. Kyrie, born 323, 1992, 11, 11, 11. Here's the point. And it couldn't be P- that they all had really great now. They're, they're all great athletes and they're all 11s. The point is, people with certain numbers gravitate towards each other. Now, let's talk about you. What's your day, my friend? Well, What's your birthday? My birthday? Yeah. April 2nd, 1968. April 2nd, 1968. 421938 uh, adds up to 33 and 0. 68. Don't age me too. Okay, my bad. Years. You're basically a three life path in numerology. What's your birthday? October 5th, 1977. Okay, so you're basically a three-life path in numerology. Look at this. The two people who are running the podcast, three is the number of communication. Communication starts with C, C is the third letter, why and the, voila! Why, why, is, voila. Why, why is three the number for communication? Because and why, and why, why couldn't I just because be born on the third? Because it coincides with the word C. Why I'm sure I, there are other languages Why couldn't I just be born on the third, dude? Like, like, you just add up all these numbers, and it's just like, it's crazy to me. Like, first off, Kyrie Irving falls very short of Michael Jordan. He shouldn't even be using the same fucking sentence as him. Okay? He, he, Kyrie Irving he, believes he, he, probably, is, he probably has the best handles uh, he does. in, in absolutely, NBA absolutely. history. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. But Kyrie Irving also believes the earth is flat. The dude has a, is, he has some serious problems. You, you know what? You know what? At least Kyrie Irving isn't vaccinated like six, seven billion people on this planet. And now that we're talking about that, let's just say this. I am not vaccinated, sir. Are you vaccinated? I am not vaccinated. Sir, are you vaccinated? I'm a U.S. military officer, yeah. Okay. So you actually were forced to get that vaccinated. I wasn't forced, but I'm a, I'm a retired officer. And as soon as they told I us, see. they, they I see. So you actually trusted the government and you got the vaccine, correct? I trusted, I trusted the government to build an airplane that I fought in two wars over. So yeah, I mean, okay. that, that's I, I, I trusted the government to get on a commercial airplane too. So yeah. here, here's the point. You trusted the government mm-hmm. to take the vaccine. Yeah. And now most people understand that vaccine was a lie. I don't think so, most people understand that. I think oh, some people. I think so, so, so wait, 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 wait. That. We're both three, no. li- 30 live pa- three the, live paths. I didn't take it. He did. So how does that do? And you probably have more sense than him. But here's the whole point. That must, that must be what it, it, it is. Here's, here's the whole there point. There we go. Thank you for the ah, more the, sense, the, bro. The fact, Thank the, you for the more sense. The <laughs> fact that you took the vaccine is a major hit on your credibility. I, the I, fact that you trusted the government and you took the vax is a major... What, and I understand you're a successful person. Okay, there I understand. You go. I understand you made a lot of money. Yes. I understand that a lot of people look up to you. Okay. And that's all fine and dandy. But when it came to the biggest... But somehow, when in spite it, of all when, that, when it I came, took the When it Got came it. to the biggest PSYOP in world history, you failed, brother. And that's just a fact. Uh, okay. I mean, that's your opinion. I don't think so. I don't agree at all. We'll, we'll find out. We'll after, find out in about ten, a decade. I, 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 found, I look after I did. It. By the way, I'm not. I'm question. not pro. I'm not pro got, against. I'm one. not pro against the vaccine. I got a good one here. But my whole thing. I, I'm, I'm very much against the idea of firing people because they didn't take the vaccine. But the idea, like after I took the vaccine, I started an eight figure company. I'm dating the hottest woman I've ever seen in my life, and I have a new bench press max. How do you those feel? Happen, the, the, those are great. Like, you feel <laughs> those are those are absolutely great. But the fact of the matter is, we'll see how you're doing in about seven years. After you took the vaccine, nine, nine figure company. That's what we're going to be at. That's what when your heart what's explodes. Happen. When my heart explodes, <laughs> I, I took the vaccine and immediately. I needed to vote for Joe Biden, and scales grew on I, my I neck. Have, I have a there question. are the aliens. Okay, the, the Illuminati's calling. Ser- serious question. I, I, no, this I, is good. I, Thank, I, I, I really, this really is hope su- you take that stuff seriously. There's a super chat. If I were you, chat. and if I were you, I'd be looking into holistic medicine to try to actually get rid of that. But no, that's not, up to you. I'm not going to. Thanks. Okay, here's the deal. Rusty Fuel, thanks for this super chat. This is great. The premise is wrong because the calendar uh, many times over the last 7,000 years has changed, has shifted. Outstanding. I, I love so, the fact that so people how would So how does that gel? And then the other thing is I'm sure there are other cultures that, like, for instance, the Jewish culture, the Chinese culture, they, they, track, sure our, they track our years in much different ways Correct. than we do. So that's number one. So how accurate can it possibly be if we've actually shifted, uh, I mean, dates? and Who asked that question? That? Uh, Rusty Fuel. Very, very smart man, Rusty. Let me explain how we know, and let me explain it to the best of my ability. Manifestation is a real thing in this world. No, it isn't. Yeah, yes, it absolutely. Is. Wait, I'm going to manifest and, 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 a steak <laughs> in the refrigerator. Absolutely, right absolutely isn't. I'm, I'm going to prove you, you that it is. No, 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 no. No. Manifestation is a real 100% thing. 100% okay? not true. So did you have goals in life? I sure did. Okay. Yeah. So and, you I work, ha- and I worked for them. And, and manifestation, and manifestation is one of the deadliest things in no, the world. No, no, it's not. Believe you have it. to work and do things That's at the same time. That's not manifestation. Working is not manifestation. Why not? Working is not manifestation. Why not? Manifestation. Let's look up the definition So you can be the best NBA player in the world just by saying, um, no, you got to put he, did, he didn't manifest it. He only did it. If we were to ask Michael Jordan, hey, let me ask you about your life path as far as your numerology, he would not give a fuck about what you're saying. He would just say, I busted my ass ha, in the gym. Have you met Michael my Jordan? My junior high coach cut me from the fucking team, and my dad did not accept me w- w- over my brother Larry. So I busted my ass uh-huh. to become the best player on the, on the planet. That's what he'd tell you. He doesn't say anything about it being an 11 life path. So don't but don't assu- don't. Put your beliefs about numerology on Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan was a K 
killer out there on the basketball court. Mm -hmm. And he was a killer because he decided to be a killer, not because he put it off on numerology or astrology. No, he doesn't doesn't know anything about numerology and astrology. The most most deadly part of this whole situation Uh is that you're sitting here having a conversation about red pill. And the number one problem that we have with women is their lack of accountability. And what you're teaching is literally the fuel for that lack of accountability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am where I Uh am because I went to the fucking gym because I learned how to build a, Uh a sales team. That's where I am. Not because of when I was born. You give people this le- literal lack of accountability. They have this safe blanket of victimhood that they can use because of what you're teaching them. <laughs> it is literally the opposite. No, cool. It is the absolute opposite of what you need. Again, the reason why Rollo and I are friends is not because we're three life paths. It's because we both believe in this fucking book over here called Evolutionary Psychology. That's the reason why. It's because the reason you both believe love- in that book is because you're three life no, paths. No, they, That's okay, the okay, point. There is no proof in what you're saying. How? The uh, proof okay, is you guys just, right I here. Know, I this know is how. the proof. You guys are here together. That is he, proof. he is actually backing you. He so is that, putting anecdotal. everything on the, on see, the line see, to back that, you. That, see, that's three, three. three. That is so anecdotal. That's, that's that is circ- not scientific. That's a circular argument. Is exactly. What that is. It's it's like, because, that because, is not scientific. Because the because the solution is in the question itself. So like how how can we, that's unfalsifiable? Yeah, of course we're here to. I'm, and I'm sure uh, you know maybe Stephen Crowder has people that are with him that maybe oh somewhere I'm, gl- along, they, I'm glad they, you they, brought up that they, that they, hold on that stop they align. But I am what, what glad you is, brought up Stephen Crowder. But, but Stephen get, don't Crowder. Don't get lost in the weeds. Don't get lost in the weeds. What I'm saying is that. Just because two people happen to have like similar personality, like what about personalities? What about um, what about people who are like good f- good clicks with each other? What about people who have like complementary talents? Those people are. What about? Oh, I got a better one for you. People who have pathological personalities mm-hmm. tend to attract other pathological personalities into their orbit. That has nothing to do with fucking numbers. It has to do with the fact that this guy's crazy and this guy's even crazier than him. So the crazy guy is going to follow. When you are born, guy. you are born and imprinted with certain energy. That in energy. How do I measure that printed. energy? I want the, to know the what numerology this is because if astrology. I could put that fucking energy in a bottle, I'd be a billionaire. Right it, it's now. just the like energy. It's, no, no. You guys brought up Steve, Stephen Crowder. I want to make this example. He is born 7 7, 1987. He is a three life path just like him and him. So again, they can say all the nonsense they want. The fact of the matter is, they're over here doing the same thing Stephen Crowder is, and they're the guys who brought him up, not me. There, there are hundreds of people. Yeah, you brought not, him up, not me. Of, I didn't bring it here, I but did. there are same. hundreds of people. Rush Limbaugh, that, born on the 12th. It's fine. But there Howard are, Stern, there, born on the 12th. There are hundds of people who aren't, and you can sit there But the top of the game is. It doesn't matter. Like, no, you, that's you, in your opinion. No, it doesn't. It, it's not the way that works. Here's so the you're, other, telling me the, you're telling me if we look at the top people in the game, and they all certain have... Move over. Yeah, it's that way. You're, you're not in the middle of the game. So if you're telling me the top people in the game are all a certain number, it means nothing. Yeah, correct. I'm, but, but first that, off, but first off, you're cherry picking who the top people in the game are, number one. And you tell two, me who the top people and number, are. Number one, you don't say the third. You say 112 is also the same thing. And it's like very convenient because if you're born on the 21st, then you're also three life paths. It's like you have all I these. I didn't say outs. a three life path. You have all these fucking ejections. I don't have outs. always what? I don't. Let, let's go back to the whole one because uh, I don't want to skip back because you definitely do this thing where you keep throwing things at people before they can research it. Uh-huh. The manifestation thing. Yes. Those poor kids who lived in Poland in 1939 when the Nazis invaded, yes. they didn't manifest getting thrown into ovens. No. And those Hutus and Tutsis that live in Rwanda, Correct. and a million people died in 100 days, they didn't manifest getting no, they didn't. butchered. No, they okay? didn't. Julian Kosogi, when he fucking questioned the, 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 the king of Saudi Arabia, he didn't manifest getting killed by a fucking bone saw. Those things are he not manifestation. Have. No, those things were not, those things are not true. You, you did not manifest those things. The 100 million people that died during the wheat famines under Mao Zedong did not manifest And neither did people who died in fucking the, the Holocaust Manif- in Ukraine. Manifesta- okay. Manifestation mm-hmm. isn't real. Or rather, there is no, no evidence no, behind no, no, it. No, no, there no, no. There is no evidence Manifestation behind. is very real. Is not. And the point is, only a few people have the ability to manifest. Again, That's the whole what, point. What an incredible escape route for you. It's not, not an escape. A few people. It's not an escape I, route. I'm the only, only true it's astrologer. I'm the only true numerologist. And only uh, well, things okay. I do sometimes okay. are wrong. And okay. we can change all these other things. Like Again, man, you. Th- there's no way this is a okay. science. You have to be able to disprove okay. your own hypothesis. Okay. And you don't even attempt to Th- do so. This right here proves it's real. It doesn't me helping, prove it. Me helping the Golden State Warriors win a damn championship. Again, uh, uh, that is real. Okay, let's do this me, real quick. Me, in the chat. Me, me, in go, the chat. In me the chat. going in the chat. to the White House. In the chat. That one is more real. One more time. Put a one in the chat if you believe he helped the Golden State Warriors that had Gary, Steph Curry, Clay Wilson Thompson, Wilson. and Draymond Green. You believe that Gary Ginsburg, Ginsburg helped them win a championship. I don't believe you helped them win a championship. That's fine. I believe, and, and I believe you, the fact you, that they had a head coach that had already won multiple champions, had won five championships mm-hmm. as, a, as, a, as a coach. The, the two best shooters of all time. And one of the best defensive players at the time okay. of all time. I think that's why I won a championship, not because of you, Gary. No offense. Okay. I don't think you have okay. anything to okay. do with the I, Golden State Warriors winning did, a championship. Did I hit any jump shots? No. Did I do any coaching? No. But you have to ask yourself, who put the team together? 
Who told certain people to sign with Golden State Warriors? That's the part you're missing. Hold up, hold up. How, how did you do that? And, 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 and how, how that, do, that will come out in the future when certain players retire, and I cannot affect their money, and so, I can't so affect we, their endorsements. So we can't when, know when, until they retire. When certain players retire, this all of this is going to be real. There's only one possible person you could be talking about, and that's Kevin Durant. And you, I don't believe that you told Kevin Durant <laughs> no, no. to sign with it. No. But because here's the thing. Nobody else really affected it that much. You're wrong. You're going to say Andre You're Iguodala, wrong. but it's not that big. Who won the game. NBA Finals in, uh, MVP in be, 215? Be, because, because he shot so Because. Poorly. It's always because of something. No, but it happened. It was a fact. You are, he did it that you year. You're trying to say that Andre Iguodala signed with the Golden State Warriors because you did that. I'm, that I, didn't, him a I, didn't, I didn't say anything. It's utter hokum. That is we'll, not we'll true. See. We'll that see. We'll see in the future. It's not. And we will way, see in the by future. The way, by the way, he could have chose to sign for any other reasons. Like, for instance, the reason that Kevin Durant signed because they were the best team and he's a front runner. That's the mm-hmm. reason why. Andre Iguodala had been in the league for a long time. People forget Andre Iguodala played with Allen Iverson. That's how old he is. That, that, so this idea that he, all of a sudden he signed because you said this and that you get a ring because of that is not, again, you, what you're doing is taking anecdotal uh, evidence see. and you're blasting it on people who don't know better and you're confusing I, I, I will tell you this I will tell you this Andre Godawa born on the 28th when he went to Miami he wore the number 28. So he's, so he's rich. A- ask why. So he's ask one of the richest why. players in the world. Yeah. Because he's, one, he's 100%. He's one of the richest 100%. players in the world. No, he's not. He's not one of the richest players. He's worth over 200 mil. Okay. What about yeah. you? So, so, so according to all the NBA players, it wouldn't even put him in the top 10%. That's the problem. Bogut, garbage-ass player, born on the 28th, got a big contract. Anderson Verjean, another garbage-ass yes, player, play born on the 28th. They, because, That's why they got okay, the big contracts. Okay, guys, I want you to everyone stop and listen to what he's saying. He's literally cherry-picking Bo, Bogut that, and in Anderson his information. He's cherry-picking players. There's so many people. Kevin Garnett would sign a huge contract. So did PJ Washington. Uh, 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 there's so many people that signed big contracts. I, I, I just brought up so, so garbage Shaquille players. I just matter. brought up garbage players who got big paydays because they're born on the 28th. That's there's the only so correlation. Many players that got huge paydays. Eddie Curry got a big payday. It doesn't make any difference. There is a guy on the Warriors. They're, they're I forgot they're his fun. name. This guy on the Warriors. He was there for one day and he got a million dollar contract. I forgot his name, but he was born on the 28th. Why, you know, this again, doesn't prove why, anything. Even if, it, even if this is true, like, why would the 28th be different than the 13th? Because 28th is, is the number of wealth. People who are born on the 28th. Why, why is it the number of wealth and not like seven or, or four? Because, for instance, you're basically saying, why is a woman weaker than the man? Because that's the no, natural order. What's the that's significance that's the nat- of those that's numbers? That's no, because because, because of natural be selection. That's the reason why a woman is weaker than a man. Because of natural okay, selection. Okay, so when it comes down to it, the 28 is the number of wealth. 8 is the number of money. I'll give you an example. Stop, stop. All you can do is look at what the elite are doing and follow their lead. The Chinese... Listen, the Chinese started the Olympic Games on 8-8-2008 at exactly 8.08 p.m. Why? Because they know eight's the number of money. No matter what you think or what you think, they went from the 15th biggest economy in the world to the third to the second within a few years after that. Right. So you can say that's right. a correlation, but, 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 but the no, fact I'm, of the I'm matter gonna, is it happened. I'm going to also say it's a correlation because... Of course. Because... Also begging the question. Also, I was begging the question that they don't have the same calendar as us. It wasn't even the eighth of their month when they did it. It wasn't even... No, they, don't I, have the, they don't have the same calendar they, they, we do. They use the English language oh, over there, too. Oh, got the it. Signs, you guys see the, the ejection signs, handle? The you guys see the ejection China, handle? The signs Everybody in the Chinese. The, if you go to China, you go to Russia, you go to Peru, all the signs in English, buddy. Again, again, that doesn't change the fact. They didn't do it. They did it on literally their calendar. It was not the eighth day. You'd sit Huawei, you'd, 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 a government company another, called... Another ejection handle. Here we go. Uh, uh, pull out of here again. Chinese uh, New Year is in the pull, 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 February. Pull, pull, February 5th is the pull, Chinese pull, New Year. Pull Huawei. Huawei, look at their, that's the government-backed uh, Chinese company. It starts with an H, 8 is the 8 letter because of money, and if you look at their logo, it has 8 different uh, spots on it, symbolizing the 8. You guys are blind to this. Like, for instance, when I talk about the Illuminati, when I talk about the 13 Illuminati families, you guys will say, oh, this is nonsense. But if you see what's actually going on in the world, you understand what's going on. For instance, McDonald's. McDonald's has a big M as their logo. Why? Because M is the 13th letter. Again, paying homage to the 13 Illuminati It's not family. because the guy's name what? was McDonald's? That, that's what, now, yeah, no I, idea of the I, fact I, I, that it was named after a okay, guy named McDonald's okay, that, who that, didn't get to choose his that, fucking name. That, that's, got that, it. Okay. That's, that's what you guys are going to say. I'm going to say... No, here's what happened. That, Rick Kroc specifically bought McDonald's yeah, from true. the yeah. brothers specifically okay. because... Now I get it. It's all pro- I got astrology you. proof. I got, got you. it. Okay, uh, Philadelphia 76ers. 7 plus 6 is 13. San Francisco 49ers. You're going to say the 14, 18, uh, 49 gold rush. I'm going to say 4 plus 9 equals 13, and I'm going to tell you why. What's 13? 13 is homage to the 13 Illuminati families, like the Rothschilds, the Rockefellers. Is that a money number, or is it just like Illuminati number? Illuminati number. 
So, so this, this is not a money. numerology number. We're There's different else. different numbers okay. mean different one, things. One plus three is four. What's four? Four is the number of law and order police. Oh, see, so that's why Donald know. Trump, when he was in the White House, tweeted "Law and Order" on four days. And why don't you guys go check that out? I have. He did it I have. I have. He also speak. Uh, he also. Uh, tweeted law and order on not four days as well now he did it mostly on four he did days. not do it mostly on four days you th again uh -huh. this is we go back to the cherry picking thing that you do i mean you, you don't i mean brother correlation yeah okay. put it okay. put, i okay. mean you're telling me he didn't do it i'm telling you he did let's put some money on it i'm telling you he did most of his tweets about law and order on four days the reason i know this is because my uh, his personal assistants are in my group right but D Lon but donald trump's not in your group because no, now he doesn't no. have anything to do with you anymore right is that correct I mean, I'm, I, I don't talk to him on the phone personally, yeah, got it. but I did hang? tell him in his face on October 22nd that he'd be president of the United States. That actually happened. Yes, and you also told Hotep Jesus that he would win uh, in 2020. And, and the did. election was stolen. Oh, got it. But uh, was numerology, the, no, no, numerology was, should account for that. Was, numerology was, should was, account for that. Was the election stolen I, I in your opinion? I don't know if it was. Oh, so you won't make a stand? I don't believe it was. You don't believe it? Yeah. Was the election stolen in your opinion? I don't even, well, you mean the last one or the one before 2020. that? 2020. Quite honestly, I think it's the entire voting I think the whole system was corrupted, yeah. I don't. I think I think. think if they're cheating, they're cheating on both sides. Do you think the Republicans are cheating in national elections? Yeah. And actually getting away with it? As, as much as the Democrats are, yeah. Maybe using the same. Well, that's, that's why, why, just curious. Why, 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 you know, why, why what does the number 15 the mean? Tools. I'm just curious. What does the number 15 mean? What does that mean? Home and family, one good, in five good. or six. So why did the Republicans gain 15 seats in the House and the Senate when, when the election was stolen? I'm just curious. How did that happen? Uh... Well, on a national level and on a state level, they have different elections. No, these That's are, how. right. But, but again, they won 15 seats. These are the same. Mm -hmm. The voting machines that they used mm -hmm. were the same voting machines for the national election as the state election. How do they win 15 seats? I'm just curious. What did 15 means? What does it, what does it mean again? No one cares. It's only about again, the president. No one cares. It's the president. No one it's cares. The president. You're an, no, it's you're, the president. It's the president they care about. Your anecdotal information matters because you said it. My anecdotal information doesn't matter because I said it. This is clear selection bias. Texas sharpshooter fallacy you're doing it again no th there's no evidence it could was it stolen or not stolen i don't know but the reality is i haven't seen any clear evidence to show that it was stolen that's not the case so that here's the thing you, you don't know the democrats too well then do you no i know the democrats better than you clearly you're, because you just make you just throw things out there and you expect people to believe you, and one you, of the things, you understand you're, obama's let, running let, a shadow let, government let, right let me, now let me explain if something you understand the democrats I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, no i'm gonna explain something to you. you're gonna agree with me on this uh -huh. i think I don't want you coming near my girlfriend. I think you're fucking incredible with women. I think you can run off about astrology all fucking day until these women are dropping their panties for Chick you. I have no, I, I, no doubt I, I don't, whatsoever. I don't, I don't need to do that. I, I, I have a wife. I, I, I have a wife. I, I, I and I don't do that stuff. Now, that might interest you no, no, to sleep I, around with 20 I, women. I, I that does not interest I, I me. I don't teach that stuff. I don't teach that stuff. you could. Let him finish his thought. I'm saying you could. What I'm saying is what you do is this thing very similar to what Johnny Cochran did where you just keep throwing things against the wall faster than we can check them and then you keep going and people are like uh-huh yeah and then after a while they're just beaten the problem is that's not going to happen to me because i watch all your stuff and i know what you're talking about the thing with jim brown and, and michael jordan is incorrect you, 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 it is not correct the you're telling me jim brown is on the I, I brought up a hall of famer a right. Hall of Famer. You said, now, that's now, not what you said. You I said might, the best now, football player ever. That's what you said in Hotep G's. Again, you're going to probably want to. You're going to say gonna wanna, one you're gonna, example. You're gonna, you're gonna, actually, he is two, one, he's one two, of the best. Two, two, he's you, two, you said Trump was going to win the election. And then the numerology should account for the fact that it was stolen. Numerology should account for the fact. Why? Because you say so? No, because you say so. Yeah. Because numerology is supposed to be able, is a science. I, 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 I said, said science. he would get you, more votes. You said, I said he would get more votes. You said that it should be taught in schools. You said it should be taught. 100%. Astrology and numerology should be taught 100%. So it should account for the fact that it was stolen. And did not because numerology is hokum and so is astrology. There have been hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of tests that prove unassailably okay. that this is hokum. That's the problem. Okay. And you're, you're, and you're things, really good at screaming and out out talking. I'm people. good at screaming. Hold, hold on. Wait, I'm wait, good. Wait, 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 hold on. Get the camera on me. I'm the one. I'm the one good at screaming. You got listen to this one time. Very good radio voice. You're extremely charismatic with it. But the fact of the matter is. The astrologers have been ahead of the scientists for 500 freaking years. Let me explain how. Well, they've well, they been ahead of the scientists for longer than that, obviously, because they've been around for 5,000 years. Let, let, me, let me explain. Right. Let me explain. Um, astrologers for centuries have told people whenever it's a full moon, people become crazy. They have said this for centuries. It was only the scientists that caught up about 50 to 75 years ago that figured out the human body is 70% water and the moon 
pulls on us too, just like it pulls on the tides. So people become crazy under full moons. That's why, why they call so, it lunatic. So, so, so hold on, let me finish. Okay. Why would that this is, this is a fact why? that people who under full moons become crazier. They, that's why they call it lunatics. Go to any police station, and they'll tell you this firsthand. Okay, so now, now let me finish. There have been okay. studies on this. This, 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 why this, 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 this is a fact. Okay, the but why knew would this. it? If it's a fact, I, let's just uh, let's say for sake of argument, because, I accept exactly okay. what you're saying. Okay. Why would it make people crazy? Because seventy percent of the human body is water. Why liquid. would that make people crazy? Who cares? When when, when the moon? How does pulls. water in your body? Okay, but if it's pulling on you, mm -hmm. what what is the pull, the gravity that triggers? Like I'm going to go. Water having emotion. an upward pull does emotion. What? What emotional does it do? energy it doesn't. Emotional, emotional energy. Emotional energy. energy. It, it, it's neurochemical. Emotional energy is emotional stored energy. in water. Emotional energy just like it's, it's stored it's, in it air. It's stored in neurochemical it, neurochemicals in your fucking liquid. brain. It's liquid, not, liquid, <laughs> liquid, oh liquid. Electricity, electricity is is, is affected by seventy percent of the human body is electricity. Yes, but the but the brain goes through electrochemical reactions. That's the reason why it doesn't affect it. Number one, number two, this building has more gravitational effect on you than the moon does. That's the second part. Maybe of it. today. And number three, moon. there have been studies that mm -hmm. have been done on this, and the reason why people commit more crimes under full moon is because it's fucking brighter outside. That's the reason why they've done uh, studies on this. Cr Stop what you're doing, crimes. everybody. Pause what you're saying. Crimes happen Pause what at you're night, doing, and you can look up the studies of why people do these things on full moons. It is not because so you're telling me people commit more crimes during the day than at night. That's what you're basically telling me. No, if during full moon. Ah, uh, because it's lighter outside, yeah, right? Correct. They can see oh, more. Oh, so stuff. how come they're not committing more crimes during the daytime than the night? Going with your philosophy, because they can see everything. What I'm saying is garbage. Able, garbage. Again, it's garbage because <laughs> you say so. Again, you have not. If, if what you said was true, people would be committing more crimes no, during the day. No. Well, they commit, they commit more looked, financial. They commit more financial up. crimes. I looked it up. Day. As as moon illumination increased. Researchers saw that uh, escalation in criminal an escalation in criminal activity. One explanation for this uh -huh. is what's referred to as the illumination hypothesis, yes. suggesting that mm -hmm. criminals like enough light to ply their trade. Hypothesis trade, but not is to, not fact. Not so much so as to increase their chance of apprehension. It is. No, it's nonsense it's because absolute, you say it's nonsense. Oh, okay. Listen, oh, okay. uh, oh, women can tell you this and that. It's nonsense too. Here's the fact of the matter: this stuff works if you actually look at it. You don't want to look at this stuff. You actually don't want to look I've at. I spent it. thirty. I spent three weeks looking at this stuff. I tell you what. I tell you. What, I, I guarantee. I, you. I tell you what. I tell you. This is what we're gonna do. Okay. You're a rich man. I'm a rich man. So here's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna go up to random people with a video camera. Mm -hmm. They're gonna give me their birthday, and I'm gonna read them like a book. No. If you're they, not. If, and we're not gonna. Oh, no, if they I'll say, if they That's say I'm wrong, reading. I pay you. No. If they say I'm right, you pay me. Let's do that. Money. See, this is what matters. Let's get. Put the money on it. You won't do it. You won't do it. So let me explain to you. So I want you guys to stop real quick, and I want you to look up what's called the Barnum. Oh, I'll read it. I have it right here. We're gonna look up what's called the Barnum fallacy. So what you do is there was a there's a professor named Barnum, and there was another professor named Ricci who did this. What they did was they gave the horoscopes for. Uh, uh, all these different astrological signs. They had 120 students in a class, and they gave them an envelope with their astrological signs. They had 10 Virgo, 10. You just said you needed 60,000 people about 10 minutes ago. You said you needed 60,000, and now you're saying I didn't interrupt you, so stop. So here, so what happened was they gave them all the same astrological signs, and they gave it a 4.6 out of 5 rating that this astrological sign meant them. So what he's doing is he's going to say things like you're uh, assertive, or you, you money's coming in your future, or you're going to make more friends. There's going to be these massive generalizations, and through that, most people are going to say yes, like. You're an honest person. Most people are going to think they're an honest person. Yeah, you're never That's an asshole. Same. You're never an asshole. It never <laughs> says there's a hundred dollar bill underneath your shoe. It's never predictions like that. These are generalizations that are called the Barnum effect. So yeah, stop what me, you're doing I'll right let, now let me, and read, look up I'll, the Barnum I got effect. It. I'll read there's it two experiments okay. that you guys should so look. A, That's what he's with 120 doing. people. Yeah. You just said you needed 60,000 so, people so, so, to so make they, an example, so but because he did it for 120 people, that's enough for him. Fact for him. So that was okay. I got it. I got it. That was. I got it. That was the first example. They've done. They've re. They've redone this. They actually did it on YouTube. You guys should check out the video. They've done this several times. Times on YouTube where they actually did the they re, they redid the Barnum effect several times and every I got time it, it I comes got it right the same here. way. I got Go it right ahead. here. Okay, Barnum effect. It's also called the four effect. That's what yep. I'm familiar with. Mm. In psychology, the phenomenon that occurs when individuals believe that personality descriptions apply specifically to them more so than to other people, despite the fact that description actually filled with the information that applies to everyone. The effect means that uh, people are gullible because they think that the information is about only them when in fact the information is generic. The Barnum effect came from the phrase uh, attributed, perhaps falsely, to showman P.T. No, Barnum. No, it was a it was a professor named Barnum. Yeah, okay. yeah, but well, it's not it's not P.T. So Barnum. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sucker, suckers born every minute. Okay, so psychics, uh, uh, suckers born every second. Magicians, palm readers, crystal ball gazers make use of the Barnum effect. 
uh, when they convince people that their description of them is highly special and uh, unique and could never apply to anyone else. And by the way, this mm. also applies to MBTI, which mm. I have a real big problem with, which you all know. Mm. It's just the modern version of astrology. No one is ever an asshole. It's always, here's your here's your letters. And this, oh, this I, is I call people assholes type. all the time. So here's, here's my mm. tale. I'm glad we got to this because this is the part I wanted to get to here. When I'm dealing with people who are uh, say, well, uh, I'm this kind of personality. I'm introverted. I'm extroverted. I'm this. I'm an MBT. I know INTJ or whatever the fuck it is. Right. These are classifications that men and women want to apply to themselves because it helps them sort out the fucking universe. But it themselves. does one other thing. It le it takes accountability away, away from, from them, them. which, is, which yes. is the least red pill thing that you can fucking do. Wow. That we we exist every day I wake up and the world will tell me how much I can bench, well, how much money I and have reason, and which girl likes me. That's what my right. my role as a man is to always fight against those things and to improve myself. Accountability lies with myself. Extreme ownership like Jocko Willick says. Any sort of accountability external from that is just cope. It is well, just Human beings cope. Okay, now, now to more to your point here mm -hmm. is human beings are really good at pattern recognition. We want to see the purple cow in the big field mm -hmm. of of, uh, of the brown cows, right? When if you're looking, you're staring at an acoustic wall. You'll suddenly start seeing images in the wall. If you see the if you've been looking, you know, cloud gazing, and you look and you see, oh, that looks like a dinosaur. That looks like this. That kind of shit right there. Yeah, people on we drugs want do that. To see, we want to, we're we're visually based. We're icon we we look for iconography. We look for patterns because that in our evolutionary past has helped us solve problems. So if we if there's a pattern and it's predictable, then we're going to develop a system that surrounds that so that we can predict the future or predict the, uh, the, whether or not the saber tooth tiger is going to come eat us at night or if it's going to come eat us in the daytime. Those kinds of things. So when we're looking for pattern recognition, that's part of our innate sort of mental firmware. Yeah. And so we want to believe that people are easier to sort out because they're a number, because they're a personality exactly. type, because they're an astrologer. So th this is also sign. the basis for racism. Like this is the, the this heuristics are the basis for racism. The the other issue mm -hmm. that goes on is that racism before before. before by the, the way, that's uh, a, that's where do we go from hold astrology hold to hold racism? Hold because, hold because, hold because, hold because because of heuristics, heuristics in astrology and heuristics in racism. Our, our ability now, to to read uh, uh, patterns. Astrology super. Precedes all that no, stuff. No, no, right, because we're okay. going now. We're bigoted towards people because of their astrological. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. So bi uh, bigotry our, is bigotry. One hundred percent. That's the. Um, hold on. Let okay. me finish this. The additional part is the, this idea that before the scientific revolution, what happened was people believed that the universe, that the Earth was the center of the universe. This is the reason why Galileo was put on house arrest in uh, 1633 because he told the Pope that the Earth goes around the sun. After he did that, before that point, people believed that they would see symbols in the sky. If you guys uh, take uh, take a second. And I'm not, I'm not saying that you believe in this, but Greco-Roman astrology, look at the constellation Leo and tell me if you can find a fucking lion there. There's none. But somehow the Vedic... The <laughs> I don't Vedic, do this I know. I, I just said that. I just said that. The Vedics and the fucking Greco-Roman people believe that, that 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 is the constellation Leo. The reason why they did that, though, is because they believed that the Earth was the center of the universe and somehow the universe cared about them. Then later on, once we discovered things like supermassive black holes and the fact that there were multiple galaxies and that these galaxies were going away from each other at a constant rate, that's when we started to determine that, no, these things are not because the universe cares about us. I am supposed to believe that a jade emperor had a race with 12 animals, and these 12 animals crossed the river to get to a party in a certain I, I order. Never said that. And the first one that got across I never said that. The first one that got across was, that. Was, that got across was a rat, and the last one to get across was a fucking dog. And because of that, pig. that how no the last oh yeah, the last one to get across a pig. And because of that, I'm supposed to then believe that that is more evidence than the hundreds and thousands of surveys that clearly prove that there is no correlation whatsoever to people born during the year of the monkey or the year of the snake. There's absolutely mm -hmm. no correlation you, you, whatsoever. You've had your time. You've yes. had your time. Mm -hmm. Now let me speak. When you're born, you're born. You're imprinted with energy excuse, excuse, from from so from, from the numbers you're born to the astrology you're born. When you're born, you're imprinted with energy. Now, just to give some basics of how this works, the rat is enemies with the horse. That is why Kobe and Shaq did not like each other. One was a rat. One was a horse. You say you can't predict things. The horse enemy is the rat. Kobe died in 2020. A rat year. So again, enemy signs. Next enemy sign combination. But you didn't hold, hold on. Die. Hold on. Let me finish. You had your sign. Let me say it now. Next enemy sign combination is the ox and the goat. Ox's personalities are strong arms. They're straight dictators. How do you know this? Look at the people who are oxes throughout history. Napoleon, Saddam, Hitler. They were all oxes, and the ox's enemy year is the goat. So let's talk about what happened. Saddam born, 1937, year the ox. First Gulf War, 1991. You know that. You're a military guy. Second Gulf War, 2003. Both goat years, his enemy sign. Fact. 
circular, Hitler, circular Hitler, argument. Hitler. Conclusion, was born. In, conclusion is included Hitler, in the premise. Hitler was born 1889, year the ox. He lost Stalingrad. He lost Kursk in 1943, war over. That's it. His enemy year. That's examples over and over. America founded 1776, year of the monkey. Last year, America's economy was not too good. Why? Because it's the year of the tiger. Okay. Tig I'm not done yet. Okay. Tiger and monkey are enemy signs. Last year, who became a star? Who became the star last year? Your boy, the tiger, Tate. And when it happened, He's a cobra, 2000. <laughs> no, I'm the fucking cobra. Yeah. He's the fucking tiger. Okay. He is born in 1986, the year of the tiger, and he became famous in 2022, the year of the tiger. Guess what? I told him what happened on the phone call in 2019. I would argue it was way Fact. before. That. I would also argue that the Gulf War started in 1990, 19, not 1991. You got that one wrong. Wait, 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 wait. When did they invade? They invaded in 1990. No, they invaded in 1991. Mm, okay. they, they invaded Desert in the August 2nd, 1990 is when they invaded in the first Gulf War. When he, no, 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 no. What was it, 1991? 91? No. They, 91, they, something would happen in 91. Okay. Well, they did not invade in 1990. Uh, 1991. So anyway, the, the point the point I'm making is you do this thing where you just keep throwing. I'm, I'm these giving you I'm giving you, you examples, at, historic and, examples. I'm not even right. close to done. So, so how, do you, so, how, how do you Joseph Stalin. how do you how about Joseph Stalin? How, how, Joseph, how about Joseph Stalin? Stalin? Outstanding. Joseph Stalin, born in the year of the tiger. He dies in 1953. In 1956, the year of the monkey, the enemy of the tiger. They have these uh, stylification when Khrushchev says this guy was horrible. Well, why was he Why Fact. was he born during a different time than Hitler and those other people? Why was he Why was Stalin born at a different time when he's also a goat? He's he should. No, he's not. He's not a goat. No, he's my a point is, but he he's acted a like a goat. But he acted like a goat. No, did, did you see? No, no, no. How did? Wait a oxes, second. Didn't he just say? Oxes, or I'm sorry, oxes. oxes. Didn't he oxes. just say the oxes? Didn't he just say the oxes were those three people? Joseph yes. Stalin is a more of an example of a dictator than those three. Joseph Stalin literally tortured he's the his biggest he, murderer of the, other than Mao Zedong. Yeah, correct. But but the thing is, who's like, a snake Joseph, like me and you? But, but the thing is, the problem is, Joseph Stalin was a bigger dictator than those other people, and he most wasn't an ox. Most dictators are oxes. But he wasn't an ox. Most dictators are oxes. How do you want to say Hitler? Is a science? Saddam. How is this a science? Right, How is that right, not right. fact? I'm giving oh, you the biggest okay, names ready? out there. Charles Smith, right. Muammar Gaddafi. Like, so let's go through Pol Pot. These people were not oxes. No, no, Muammar Gaddafi was a revolutionary. He was not a fucking dictator. He was a revolutionary. Muammar Gaddafi was not a... Was not a uh, he was spreading revolution was throughout tiger, Africa. Was he a tiger or an ox? He was a horse. He was a revolutionary. But dude, this just doesn't fit at all. He was also and a dictator, bro. Like, I was this waiting problem. for a tiger. It's crazy, man. But, but what he did was way different. He didn't murder his people like... Uh, Sad he, mur he murdered a lot of his he, people. He, not his own. He murdered people in Sudan. He murdered people in other countries. He didn't actually try to genocide his own people. Now, I, I personally think Gaddafi was a good guy. Okay. But he was a horse. Yes. What was his number? Eleven. Charismatic leader, like most of the leaders, how, how like Hasni Mubarak. What was his number? Eleven. Uh, he's born six seven nineteen forty two six seven one nine four two. Adds up to twenty nine two nine eleven. Eidetic memory. What's that? You have eidetic. An eidetic. eidetic memory. Well, yeah. I don't know that. Photographic memory. Yeah, no photographic doubt. would no be doubt. different. I think I think there's a different word for what for remembering numbers. But um, uh, Garrick Sandoval has asked, "How do you explain people's moods change when Mercury's in, in Gatorade?" I don't Sorry. do that he's, shit. He's, Talk he's, to the fucking bitches about that garbage. I don't do that. Okay, listen, I'm not fucking out here fucking giving matchmaking advice while I've been fucking divorced three times. That's those fucking bitches do that. I have been to the same woman for freaking twenty years, and I'm gonna tell you guys out there something. I married my girl when I was broke. These red pill guys over here, and again, no offense, this is what the red pill community does. I, I, was, bro I they, was broke too. Okay, this is what these red pill communities guys tell you. They mm. say, go out there, get rich, and then get your woman. Wrong, because all you're going to find is a freaking gold digger. That's a straight up fact. You need to find your woman when you're young, when you're broke, so you guys can grow together and bond together. And one more thing. Don't fuck around with American women. They're they're, they're so. so they're I, I really don't. I really don't have any problem with this, but I think there's a second solution, which is when you meet a woman and you're wealthy, just don't let her know you're wealthy. There's another way to do that. So too. you're gonna lie to her? No, I just don't let her know that I'm wealthy. Like I just don't. So you're gonna her, lie to her? No, I don't lie. To, I don't let her see how big my shits are either. It doesn't mean I'm lying to her. It's just a part <laughs> of my life. I don't let her see. That's it. So what I do? Well, usually when I meet a girl, I wear black t-shirts and fucking Apple watches, oh, and I drive my Lexus. I don't let her see that I'm wealthy. That's one of the things that I did. Now it's a little harder now because I'm, you know, I have a big show. But like beforehand, it was very easy. I just never let women know how much money I made, and that actually helped a lot. But that's a different. That's uh, a different listen, I don't disagree listen, with what you're saying, listen, by the way, about the money, money the, screwing the people up. The fact of the matter is. I am married for 20 years because I picked my bride based on numerology and astrology. Okay. It how, how did that work? Tell, tell me the science. No, no, no what problem. was the process? No, no problem. Is there a so process? I, I, am I, I am born in the year of the snake. Mm -hmm. People who are born in the year of the snake are extremely jealous people. That's a fact. 
You're a jealous person. No, as not well. at all. Okay. Quite well, you, the you, opposite. You, you can you can say whatever you want. Snakes, Quite the opposite. Snakes tend to be very jealous and very vindictive. If someone crosses them, they're gonna fucking go after Definitely them. And by the way, by the way, that? psychology. When I people do this, they're lying. So he just did that. So when it comes down to it, fact that, fact that. That's body language psychology. There's so, body so, again, again, total hokum. Body language. When you touch your nose, you're lying, bro. Bro, I have allergies. Number one. Okay. You just had an allergy, right? After you said that, I have allergies. I literally show you my doctor's report. I go to an allergist. Once a week, number one. Uh, number two, the, the whole body language thing has been completely thrown out of court. It is total <laughs> hokum. It is total hokum. None of it is true. There is no, oh, there is no, it, there is no one tell for any person. A tell, even poker players will tell you this. The tell for guy yeah. A is different than the tell for guy yeah. B because there's no universal I, way I, to tell. I, I'm going to trust you, not CIA agents and FBI, FBI, uh, SB agents. Okay, yeah, whatever CIA you CIA agents do not tell you that they can do that. CIA agents do not tell you that they can always tell when someone's lying. They can not always. When, they they can, can tell when someone's lying under duress for certain. But the other thing that they have is when they can tell people are lying is they have information, external information to be able to tell this. I'm tell that 100%. I'm not a jealous person. Every girl you'll talk to will tell you 100%. Okay. They're like, I wish so, Michael was so, more jealous. Here, here, number two, here's the number point. two, there are people who have literally defamed right, me I and one. I say nothing about them. I'm not the least vindictive person you'll ever find. The problem is that I live in the real world and there'll be multiple hundreds of people that will attest to what I'm saying. What you're saying, maybe it's true, but it's definitely not true about me, which mm. is further to my point. Okay. It is not an exact science because it's not a science at all. That's mm. the thing. I could find exceptions okay. to every single thing so, that you're so talking about. Let's go through you, and you tell me if I'm wrong or right about you. Sure. Okay. You're born in the fifth. People who are born in the fifth all travel quite a bit in life. Is that true about you? Not anymore. I think. But no, I didn't. I, 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 not I, anymore. I said if it was true. When in I was your in, life. when I was in the military, okay. I was forced to travel. Okay. Yeah, I hate travel. Uh, have you've had plenty of hoes on the team? Correct. Uh, yeah, I mean, in my okay. life, yeah. So when it comes down to it, people born in the I don't fifth, call them hoes. Or whatever yeah. you want to call them. People born in the 5th, 14th, 23rd are extremely good looking, and people of the opposite sex like to spend their time with them. Is that Damn. true with you? It, wasn't, it certainly wasn't true until I was like maybe 35. When, when it happened, it doesn't life. matter. I think that would count if it matter. What if I died before the age of thirty five? Then oh, this you, whole you thing doesn't matter. You didn't though. Yeah, but the, the, the point, like, point. It, it's just ridiculous. Like the uh, uh, by the way, by the way, you're right. But the reason why <laughs> the reason why people would want to spend more time with me is because I chose to take changes in my life. I took personal accountability. At no point did I uh, consult with an astrologer. I you went to the gym. I went to the gym and did this. I went to the gym. I was the one who created and founded an eight figure business. I did this. It wasn't because of any number anyone told me. And for the vast majority of my life, no women liked me at all. So I don't agree with that. So you didn't have women on your team? Not until maybe 10 years ago. I got a, okay. qu I got a question. That, that's a majority. Well, well, he went, wait, he's making a reading. Let him finish. Let him oh, finish. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Keep going. Uh, 2019, did you have an off year? No, it was the best year of my life. Actually, 2000, the most, 2000, the most, that was the most money I've ever made in my life was in 2019. 2007. Uh, that was the second most money I've ever made in my 2007. life. In 2007. Okay. Yeah. So here's, here's what basically happens. When you're in your enemy year and you start making money in your enemy year, bad things happen as a result. So the money you made in 2019, which is your enemy year, by the way, the pig is the enemy of the snake. You have to watch out because the money you made, the stuff you invest that in is going to come back to you and it's going to haunt you. That's how this game works. You have to understand when to do things and when not to. It's extremely important to understand. For instance, um, enemy signs. You never want to sleep with a girl who's your enemy sign because what's going to happen is you're going to have unwanted babies. And by the way, you're going to be the most attracted to your enemy sign. For instance, people who are born in the year of the snake, their enemy sign is the pig. That's who they're going to be the most attracted to. People who are born in the year of the rat are going to be the most attracted to rat. What does the snake be the enemy of everybody? Yeah, for sure. That, that, like see, most, this mam is most mammals, this yeah. Is, this is comedy. You shouldn't be talking shit about snakes because you're a snake. And by the way, you live in Las Vegas, which was founded in 1905, a snake year. You flourished here. Also, let's talk about yeah. the people in the past who flourished in Las Vegas. Uh, Mr. Wynn. Mr. Wynn's born in the snake year. In 1989, he basically re-evolutionized Las Vegas. 1989 is a snake year because that's when Mirage was built. Let's go even further. Uh, Howard Hughes. Now he had uh, the golden wait, ticket before that. Howard Hughes. Yeah. 1989 is when the Re Vegas revolution on the strip started you with the mirage more than with the mirage that's yeah. a fact that's a fact we're not even 1980 is when, 1989 when, when palace was rebuilt also that you could say you could say it's way mirage before. it was mirage mirage is so, so mirage, when, is, mirage is like the 10th best when it opened it was the gold mine 1989 and that's one basically the trying to tell you. 89. the mirage did yes the, the mirage, win yeah. the win opened the mirage on, is like the win open is a mid-tier the win opened on the 28th and it's the best grossing hotel in vegas because it was founded on the 28th why don't you guys look on wikipedia and see it yourself so here's the here's the point 
Here's the point when it comes down to it. it might Sam Rothstein, so the guy who was in Casino, they made a movie about him. Sure. He was also born in a snake, just like Howard Hughes. And Floyd Money Mayweather, the reason he lives in Vegas is because he's born 1977, the year of the snake, and this is a snake city. So you guys can say all the mumbo jumbo you want, but the fact of the we're matter the is, saying mumbo this jumbo. Got works. It. Okay, we're the ones saying okay, okay. mumbo jumbo. Okay, so here, here's, here's a few things. Now, yes. um, so you were just mentioning your wife and, and, and signs and enemy, enemy years and everything. Okay, this is Ted, uh, Dr. S uh, psychologist, Dr. Bernie Silverman of Michigan State University tested the effect of this astrological compatibility on marriages. He surveyed astrologers <laughs> across the country on compatibility of the 12 zodiac signs in studying 2,978 marriages, 478 divorce records in Michigan. Dr. Silverman found couples whose marriages were made in horoscope, heaven united, and split up just as frequently as those who were not astro. No, horoscope based on other people's correct, correct, information, correct. not mine. Correct. So just so just so we're clear, you don't do you put any weight in any sort of Greco-Roman astrology, or all of that is hokum as well? Uh, I believe that ninety percent of astrologers are frauds. Oh no, no, I understand. And, but and, but and, is there is there any true Greco-Roman astrology? Is what I'm asking you. If you're asking me if there's a little bit of truth to it, yes, but it's like so vague. You like it's like a salt because there's, there's no because there's no science because every time an experiment is done, every time they show no correlation within the astrological they don't know what to, they don't know what to look know. for. If they don't know what to look for. They're going off information these broads make up. Well, this no, there, is all there, nonsense. There, there, there was a male astrologer in the last uh, one that I, I saw I, as well. I'm, I'm yeah. the only one in the game, dude. There's no one else here. The only, only people who do this uh, from a male perspective are my students. That's a fact. I got you. I got you. Here we go. Another set. Another. Again, again, you're talking about studies from people who don't have the right information. Just, They're oh, studying right, stuff. So, these tell me. Okay. Well, tell me. Tell not, me. I, I tell can't. Me I can't defend that stuff. All right, tell me, I'm not saying you're. I'm not trying to have you defend that. Uh, astrology fails to uh, adequately answer a number of other important questions. What is the mechanism the planets use to exert their influence over men? I, I, Suppose, like you just said, the, the, the moon pulls on everybody and makes so, everybody nuts, yeah. right? So, yes. so this is, that's why I read this one. Okay, supposedly we are affected by the gravitational pull of the heavenly bodies at exact, the, the exact moment of our birth. I say when yeah. you, I say when okay. that water breaks. However, when, well, hold on. This I is say, absurd. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> hold on. I say when that water breaks, you're imprinted with energy. So if you're born in the seventh, you're going to be extremely smart. The casinos use this stuff too. Gamble starts with G. G is the seventh letter. How many cards in the deck, my friend? Fifty-two. What's five and two? Seven. Okay. So again, you have to understand that casinos. What's the most use common this. dice combination? Two. Seven. seven. Ah, there you go. The number of the gambler. A, a the new, casinos did this on purpose. <laughs> Illuminati uh, proof. Or perhaps it's because Illuminati uh, confirmed. It's a 50 50 chance. <laughs> Could be that too. Uh, supposedly, we are affected by the gravitational pull of the heavenly bodies at the exact moment of our birth. However, this is absurd. At least if this is the opinion of Andrew Frank. Frank Noy, I can't remember the guy. I can't. I, I don't think much executive, of Andrew's executive, at all. Executive <laughs> officer of the Astronomical <laughs> Society of the Pacific in San Francisco, an international scientific and educational organization. The gravitational pull of the obstetrician is six times that of Mars. Correct. <laughs> okay, yes. guys, 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 He has guys. also pointed at the uh, hospital uh, building in which the person has been born 500,000 500, times, times more than the Mars. The gravitational pull of Mars. Guys, you're basically pulling up like Dr. Dr. Fauci's work and asking me to defend it. I cannot defend so other Fauci, people. Dr. Fauci, this I'm is not, like, I, I'm this not, is gravity. This, this is, is all garbage. Measurable. Okay, listen. This is something well, that's I, I'm, I, You're at... Basically asking me to defend stuff, I have okay. nothing to no, do with. No true Scotsman. Okay. This is again the no true Scotsman defense. All the other astrologers are wrong. Then why would the moon know. make any difference in criminality? You, you, you brought up the moon. That's the reason why we're bringing. This I, up. I brought up the moon because it pulls on tides, and seventy percent of the human body is water. Right. So obviously that would make something. I didn't say anything about Jupiter. I didn't say anything about Saturn. Okay. You guys did. I didn't. Okay. So let's make that clear. Sure. I'm talking about Earth astrology, Vedic. Um, excuse me, Chinese, uh, Vietnamese, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Because on this planet where we're all born. You're born on this planet, right? Hopefully, Okay, yeah. so we're all born on this planet. So Not when it me. comes down to it, this astrology is the one that affects us. Don't tell me about what other some other broad oh. who's been divorced three times. I agree with what you. she said. Okay, you, you I'm telling you about yeah, what yeah, I we do. We talk about okay? crack yeah, yeah, all but, but, but the time. My, my, my whole thing is like your astrology. It's like when you multiply any number by zero, you get zero. Yours is just as inaccurate as theirs. <laughs> that's the problem. That's the problem. The, the idea that like somehow the the world imbued with you with this knowledge that nobody else. I've had several sports betters on here. Here's the funny thing. As soon as I had a flat Earth day, 
save on here. You know what happened the next day? <laughs> I had a bunch of other flat I, earthers. I, 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 call, I uh, called the Super Bowl three times in a row, uh, by the way. Uh, uh, listen, okay. you called the Super Bowl yeah. three times? I've called the Super Bowl three times in a row, too. That it doesn't mean anything. Listen. It means what, I'm what, a good handy yapper uh, because uh, of numerology. You could be a, you could be a good Because handicapper. I use numerology okay, so, and astrology. So, so here we go. One, one, one other thing. So what will happen is um, what, the day after I had a Flat Earth Dave on my podcast, mm-hmm. I had a bunch of Flat Earthers hit me up and be like, that dude's a fraud, and you should listen to my version of Flat Earth. The day I had Vegas Dave on my podcast to talk about sports betting, after that, I had numerous other he sports betters he's talking hit, about. hit me up and be like, that guy doesn't know what he's talking <laughs> about. So the, this is called the no true Scotsman defense. Basically, everyone else is false except me because this is provably un- untrue. The reason why nobody does uh, Greco-Roman astrology is because there's so many videos right now that just completely dunk on Greco-Roman astrology. The reason why he's doing uh, Chinese astrology is because nobody even thinks to try to debunk it because it, it, you well, can't uh, debunk it. Well, you can because the chi- there has been a video. It was a TED talk with this one woman. She went through all these famous people and all these billionaires that lived in China and showed that there was no correlation between wealth and what sign you are. This is unassailable. This is over. There is no correlation whatsoever. How many black billionaires are there? Um, twelve. Uh, it's twelve fifteen somewhere around there. Okay. Michael Jordan born in the seventeenth. Kanye was born in the eighth. Most of the black billionaires you're going to find are born in the 8th, 17th, 26th, or 28th because those are money numbers. What people have to understand is— But they're black billionaires. Do you see how you just cherry-picked again? It, it, no, what if they're part black? What if they're one-eighth well, that's, black? That's it's the whole so crazy, point I'm dude. trying to tell you. There's not that many of them, and the ones that are there have that number. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It doesn't, that's not scientific at all. The scientific, the scientific fact is this. You go to Walmart, all the prices are in eight eights because eight's the number of money. You go to uh, Rolex, all their ads have a 28 in it because it's the number of wealth. What you believe is irrelevant. What the people in power believe actually matters. And you might have an eight-figure business, and guess what? I might have one too. But the fact of the matter is, you're a pleb, I'm a pleb, he's a pleb. We might be high class plebs, but we're plebs. I agree with we're that. Not, we're not the elite, and the people who are in power, they use this stuff. So you might choose to reject this. You might see this as fallacy, and that is your opinion. Sure. And you're, that's all more power to you. The fact of the matter is this the people in positions of power, they use this. And let me just finish with this. Yeah. You want to say this is nonsense? What do you know about Steve Jobs? Do you know he went to India before he started Apple? Uh, I w- maybe I don't okay. know. I don't I think the I reason that. he went to India was to study numerology and astrology because in India, numerology and astrology is supreme. That's what they do over there. It, it, Hold on, I'm not done. Okay. If you look at Apple alone, ask yourself mathematically one in nine chance for any number to come. He he's a 28 life path. He founded Apple 3 1 1976. He incorporated it. Excuse me, 3 1, 1977, and he incorporated 4 1, 1976. He's a 28. He started the company on, the, on a 28 day, and he incorporated it on a 28 day. The chances of that just happening. It's one in 30. Or no, one in no, 90. No. One, one, in 90. One, one, one times nine is 27. Times nine is a lot more than one in 90, my friend. You're talking about one in nine, one in nine, one in nine. So the, so rich, the fact that. Hold on, hold on. The, the fact of the matter is this. I got him. This stuff works if you actually pay attention you're just doing fluff stuff oh this doesn't make sense you have to dive into it you have yeah. to really I did. I did. dive into I, it i, I don't I've no no you know you didn't I, dive I into, into vedic because, astrology and you know what i found I, out i'm not this, doing vedic this, astrology. The, the supreme Court, i don't do but vedic but you, astrology but you just brought up you just brought up steve jobs going to india that's what i'm talking about and i said the, numerology the, no you said numerology you said astrology and numerology that is for, true for, i did say and that when he went there there it's they're so deep into numerology and astrology that the supreme stop what the video and read look at this up on your own the supreme court of india has now trying to make it illegal to teach astrology in schools people can get a phd in astrology in india it's utter nonsense and this is one of the problems we are so uneducated as a society when it comes to science technology engineering and mathematics the idea of teaching numerology and astrology at school is dangerous it's actually dangerous this is a fun thing for people to talk about whatever bet on what i got 20 employees who do numerology and astrology for a living uh, you're telling you're telling me this is garbage no i'm telling you that uh-huh. sport uh, it's sports betting a lot of people would say that's garbage you you make money from selling picks not from actually betting in no i do both i do both okay that sounds good so so what you need to do what you need to do is have a little bit more of a clear track record and try to make sure you keep those screenshots and letting them and instead of letting them go away with your twitter accounts and if you do that before Again, you're going to show me wins. This is a more Texas sharpshooter thing. Are you're you going to show more, me money you, you do have. Parlays, you it doesn't, parlays, it doesn't, parlays, it doesn't brother. matter. You're, going to, you you're more, not going to show me losses. You're only going to show me wins. Are you more? You want to follow me for a month and we'll see if we do. If I win or more or lose, you're you, more than welcome to. Do you, do I'm you have 10, more wins? Do you have more wins than losses? Do you predict things? I, 
accurately I, I, more I, I, than I, I, you I, I, predict I will, things I will, falsely. I will, I will do it this way. I don't do straight bets. I'm not Vegas Dave. I don't bet minus 200, uh-huh. minus 150. I believe that's yeah, a sucker. Predi- okay, let's hold on, take let me, money let me out of it. Like predictions. predictions. Hold on. Hold how, on. How, accurate, how accurate are your predictions? The only predictions that matter are the ones against the line. Any idiot can pick a minus 900, okay? Well, you just predicted Trump and, all, and some political okay. stuff, okay. too. I mean, so, just okay. take it out of the realm of okay. betting for a moment. No, like, how every, accurate every, are your predictions? Extremely accurate. I would say 80%. So I mean, you would say 20% fail, 80% success. So it's not, not in sports, though. Not okay. in sports. Okay, not, not in sports. sports. Okay, got not it. Not in sports. But in politics, stuff stuff like that, I'm pretty I'm pretty dead on. I mean, for instance, I was invited to White House for a reason. Okay, uh, can we do, do you have another question? Because uh, no, I, I, I have a bunch of questions I want to ask. I have a, uh, no, I, you can go ahead. And okay, cool. Down. I'm not uh, trying to say pro. I mean, I've got, so let me, you, just let me throw one quick thing out here. I, I forget what the, the name of the author that threw this out. I think it was might have been Asimov, but it's it was... Uh, um, any any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. Magic, yeah. And we and that that's applicable to so many different things. So we have a capacity for magical thinking, and it's not that's a feature, not a bug, by the way. So when we ha- when we're imaginative, it's just as important as knowledge is as well. So the problem with it is that imagination, that capacity for magical thinking, can be just as damaging as it can be a benefit to us. So as can well. driving a car so if you kill have, people. I understand that. So it, it, what I'm the saying knowledge is, is never the problem. The fact it's how is people the, use the fact it. Is Again, that the, mach- the fact is that the machine that is the human body, that is the human brain, has a capacity to for wonderment and to wonder, like, is this really for real? Is this bullshit? Are there ghosts? Are there UFOs? Are there this? Are there is numerology this? I want to look for patterns. That is a feature, not a bug. So we we can we can have advanced science as a result of having this imagination, this capacity for imagination, but we can also have it as being something that's like the cause of the worst human atrocities as yes. well. So we have to take things sort of like into a into a, a holistic look at all this whole thing. So when we're looking at something that we say is this is a, overall this is a damaging belief. Some people will say religion is like that. Some people will say astrology, any superstitions, tarot cards, um, whatever is the 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 you know the woo woo magical thinking uh, energy whatever. That it's unmeasurable. So you don't believe, what, you don't believe no, in spirituality well, at all. What, well, I do, but not in the sense that you're you're thinking here. So when what, what I'm saying is that we have the capacity to imagine something that is beyond the physical. And what happens is when we let that get out of hand and we don't use that with rationality and reason, that's when you get into trouble. And that's when, he, when society. He, here's falls. a great example of that. On so the the Chinese New Year is February fifth, mm-hmm. and on February fourth, if you go look, there's this unbelievably high number of cesarean sections that mm-hmm. happen in China because these people do not want their child born on a certain outstanding. year. Outstanding. That's a- exactly what they a- should be a- doing. Absolutely. That's exactly terrible. what they should be doing. Absolutely you know what? Terrible. You can say whatever you want, but you go to the royal family and you see they're having C sections, and most of the kids in the royal families are 11s, 22s, 33s. So again, you can say whatever you want. But the people in the royal family, like Prince William, is an 11. His father is an 11. And by the way, the uh, queen who just died. I, I would not they, use either one of those as an example uh, for anyone's did great they, or But, but, but great wait a second. But wait a second. Did they, did they hold wait a second. They were, 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 they were 11s and they were C-sections because the royal family wants people who are master numbers. Again, look at the presidential races. How do they control that? What, you, uh, what, you, you, you'd have them born at a certain time, so you pick when the season. Yeah, just like you're having them out at the right you're time. You're having so healthy the, young the women gra- having unnecessary surgery okay. because of this hokum. Yes, I, got it, got it. Well, well, it, I didn't understand. B- the, basically, the basically, both my kids were cesareans, and they both were picked on the same day. And guess what? Extremely healthy kids, because you know what? I basically made sure they would be born wealthy. I'm doing well. But you want to make sure you don't know what's going to happen 100 percent in the future. Sure, no one knows 100 percent. I made sure because of numerology and astrology, my kids are set up for life with money. Other things, that's not the only thing in life, no doubt about it. But they are set up for money because I made sure they were born on the same day, on a certain day. I suggest that people start looking at this stuff and do the same thing again. Don't take my word for it. Forget what they're saying. Look what the elite are doing. Prince William, obviously. Some people might be disappointed in him. Prince Charles, another crackpot. I get it. But the fact is they were born on certain days because they had sincerity in sections. And you're not going to sit there and tell me you know more than the royal family. No, I'm going to tell you that if you're going to tell me that, <laughs> that, that, that elitists, <laughs> if you're going to tell me that elitists believe this, I don't disagree with you. I think they do. It doesn't make it true, though. I see. So people who are way more smarter and smarter. way more wealthier if you, if you, than you, if, if, you and if you, you actually think if that you, if you've watched if you watch anything like I've read any documentaries about the way the royal family is treated, they're not smarter than you. how many how they're many people? Pa- the questions. Barack Obama will run circles. 
Rumble. How many? But how we're many not talking about Barack Obama. We're talking about the elite. I said the royal family. I said the elite. And you said the royal family. How many? They're part of the elite. I got it. How many dumbasses were born on the same day? How many kids with Down syndrome were born on the same day? How many dumb people were born on the seventh? How many dumb people were born on the seventh? Here's here's the point. Um, much less than any other number. Again, there's no, there is no science behind this. Whatsoever. And there's no science absolutely. behind what you're saying either. There absolutely is. There are numerous studies that I, show I, I that IQ. To, I, there is no IQ distribution by day that you were born in the month. Absolutely, unequivocally, unassailably zero. There is none. There's numerous, hundreds of studies that show this. Now, there now, is no correlation between day you're born and IQ. Zero now, now, point now, zero now, zero people, zero. People, I want you to do this. Forget what we're both saying. Go in your life and look at the smartest people <laughs> when they were born, and you're going to see they're born in the 7th, 16th, 25th, or their 7th life paths. You can laugh all you want, but Smart. I give readings to teachers. I give readings to college professors, and they all the time say the smartest kids are born in the 7th, 16th, 25th. Just like I tell you, the most charismatic people are born on the 11th and 29th. And guess what? Jesus Hotep, who made it, he's an 11. How do you think he made it? Uh, he Candace made it, he Owens, made, he made born on the 29th, 11 a, a software company. That's how he made it. Um, so here's the other one. You, 11 you life path. No, you you mentioned this before. Uh, white yeah. people are better in, with technology and black people are better with nature. You said that before. Yeah, you I agree with that. that. 100%. Are there, any other, are there any other specifics that you believe about different ethnicities? Yeah, I believe Mexicans and Latinos are way harder working people okay. than most others. Okay, got it. In 70, you said 70% of women you believe are communists. Or believe yeah, they believe they think like communists. They think like communists. And I can I can actually maybe explain. maybe egalitarian. Uh, no, is communist the word you want to use? Actually, I, I would, I would say 70 percent of women think like communists. And again, I'm not trying to disrespect the women out there who are hardcore conservatives. I'm not trying to disrespect yeah. them, but seventy percent of them are communists. And I can actually prove this. Okay. And that, in 2002, when the U.S. overthrew uh, Hugo Chavez in Venezuela, uh -huh. they overthrew him. They had a new president set up. It was the women who came into the streets, the women who protested, and they got Hugo Chavez released from uh, their American prison. And all of a sudden, Venezuela went to hell because women. It, they always want someone to take care of them psychologically. And if it's not going to be your daddy, it's not going to be a boyfriend or a father. It's going to be the goddamn government. 1917, Russia. The, uh, the Bolshevik Revolution started with women protesting. This is a fact. And the fact of the matter is, I rue the day that women gain control of any freaking nation from any power standpoint. Because... 80% of them are not emotionally ready for leadership. But you know what? That's where the numerology comes in. Because one is male energy, and if a woman's born on the 1st, 19th, 28th, she will have more leadership ability than even some men. Uh, Fact. You, so you, met, you mentioned before, this is another thing, um, and I'm just curious because I feel mm -hmm. like you can make a lot of money from this. You said all disease can be cured through sound. Can you, could you maybe you know, use some of your finances to find ways to make some of these cures? You said I'm not a scientist. Disease. So, but you believe all you all cure, yes. all, all disease, and you also said that 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 the mainstream media wouldn't want this out. Although I will mention one of the biggest podcasts of all time. It was a, a serial, po not like serial, but it was one of the early podcasts. Was literally on this idea. It was the idea that there was a, a species somewhere else spending. It was very similar to the movie Contact, where mm -hmm. they were using sound and it was killing humans, and then they used sound in order to heal them. So this idea has okay. been out there. Well, my point is, what you said was anybody funny. who comes out with that idea publicly is going to get you know black hel helicopters and vans or whatever. The, do you have any proof that all disease can be cured through sound? Um, do I have any proof? No, I do not. I'm not, I'm not a scientist, this, by the way. I'm not a scientist. That is, that is a theory I okay, have. Got it. Just, a theory. Like this, got it. Okay. just like the scientists have theorisms. Beautiful. That is my theorism. Uh, totally, I also totally believe, fair. and I totally want, fair. I want people to understand this. Totally I fair. also believe that running water is something that can help like calm people and soothe people down. There's so, science so, behind so, that. There so, is science so the behind that. So the fact, there is the, science fa behind. the fact of the matter is whenever I'm in a hotel room, I always leave the running water. I always leave it on because I personally believe why Forget the science. I personally believe that just that sound basically has different vibrational energy sure. that goes around it that's healing to some people. I believe that being by the ocean heals people physically, psychologically, things of that nature. Sure. That is comes for me because of my understanding of numerology and astrology. You might find a way that says, okay, science backs this too. Cool. But there's certain things right now the science won't back that it will in 200, okay, 100 see, years. See, what you just did is you just removed the faith out of what you were talking about. I have no faith. I understand I only that. Have but facts. what I'm saying is this. is like you have a faith in the fact that there's like there's some sort of healing energies in like the sound of running water, correct? Yes. Okay. So if science goes and says, yes, it, 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 it will indeed. I'm, I'm happy the science caught indeed, up. Okay. So I'm happy the, the science hold, caught hold up. Hold tight. Let me, let me finish this one because this is real good. Okay. So. 
if I can prove to you that in our, uh, in our evolutionary past, our ancestral past, mm -hmm. that the sound of rain or the sound of the ocean or running water meant we're close to water, and so therefore we have some sort of a better, we have a better personal chance of security, survival, exactly. better chance of survival because now, hey, the okay. rains are coming on the land. It's, only, it's also stuff. one less area we can yeah. be attacked from. That's so, exactly right. So now, what I, so now what I've common done, sense. So, now, okay, so now what I've done with common sense is I have ruined the faith that is there some sort of inner, some sort of like, you know, cosmic energy. In your mind. In the idea. In your mind. No, in, in the actual proof of the science that's showing behind the scenes here that this is like, remember what I told you about if, uh, what is it, uh, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. So if you think the magic is that the sound of running water is gonna make your energies align and your chakras go whatever the fuck they are, and then I can go and I can say, hey look, here's the science behind You don't even it. believe in that stuff. Here's the science behind this. I know you don't, I'm not saying you, you don't. You don't. I, I'm not saying I do either. But, oh, the, I believe the, in chakras. but the science behind that is now ruining the faith that you had in the fact that this was energy or chakras or or you, you, or you mean just because or you mean else. just because the science backs no, because, what I believe because, now it ruins no, what I believe in the first no, place. No, no, that no, makes no, no sense. Not, not at all. But your reasoning but it, for it, but it, it, but it pulls it pulls it out of the metaphysical and puts it puts into it into the into objective. If, if I believe what I believe from one standpoint and you believe what you believe from one another different standpoint, that doesn't basically say invalidate my argument yes it does. I, I will be it happy does. Does. i will be happy that you mm -hmm. found a different correction like for instance you could take this street to get to this location i'll take this street me driving from the left and you driving from the right does not disprove that i'm coming from this direction no, right. the, it does the, not the, the results Understood. are the same but i'll give you an example like so for instance there were certain constellations that would rise in the sky before the nile the nile would flood in, in egypt and so they started to correlate those constellations with the flooding of the nile what they did incorrectly though is they believed that the nile flooded because of the constellations as opposed to the position of the earth and the sun. And so they came to the reasoning, the correct result, but they came to it incorrectly because they, they switched cause and effect. That's where the difference is. But, but I want to get to this, this question I want to ask you real quick. Um, the other one is, you believe Nikola Tesla and or Donald Trump are time travelers? They could be time travelers. It is possible. It is possible. It is how, possible. How, time Elon traveling Musk. from the back. I believe yes. Elon backwards. Musk is a so time traveler. So how how are you how are you time traveling backwards in time? I'm just curious from a scientific standpoint. I'm I don't to believe. I'm, first of all, I'm not a scientist. Okay. This is not numerology and astrology. Okay. These are my theories. Okay. okay? So I don't want to be challenged. Oh, you're a fraud. This is what I believe. Okay. I'm not can't bring up statistics. This and this and this. I can say that when it comes down to uh, Mr. Tesla. He does certain things that people didn't do. In the, like, for instance, he would, wouldn't sleep. He would sleep for 20 minutes hmm. and then wake up. He would just sleep in for months. Now, I believe that's what people are going to do in the future. So that for me, that's one thing I can look at and be like, okay, that doesn't make sense. But he's doing something. That might be something that they might do in the future. I, per, I personally believe Keanu Reeves is a time traveler. Okay, got it. Okay. Um, when you look at Isaac Ke Newton would then be a time traveler. From the future you said that, or from not the me. past? Oh, you said that, not me. When I look, from, at, when I look at Keanu Reeves... Um, when he takes pictures with females, he always puts his palms out like this. Yeah. This is something I believe they're going to do in the future when um, the feminists take no, over. He, he did that after the uh, Me Too movement. That's okay, what I, under, I understand. I understand. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I believe, By the way, I do the same I, thing I, I because it's of called, it's called hover hands. I believe this, is, hover hands. I believe this is something <laughs> that more and more people are going to do. But here's, here's the point. Time travelers can't have kids because they don't belong in this timeline. If you don't belong in this timeline, you can't have kids. Tesla did not have kids. Um, what's his name? Uh, uh, Keanu Reeves can't have kids. In the movie The Time Traveler's Wife, it said specifically in that movie, time travelers cannot have kids. So again, I can't tell you for 100%. I can put things here and here. I personally believe that Tesla is a time traveler. Okay, the Zionist faction of the CIA. Can you go into Zionists, what you believe Zionists are? You really want to do this? Yeah, definitely. I okay. definitely do. Okay. Um, I'm Jewish, by the way. Okay. I want to make this abundantly clear. I am Jewish. Shalom. Okay. okay. Shalom. You don't have any faith, but you are Jewish. Like, I, I, I don't go to Hered temple. Heredity, I don't, I don't, I don't go to it. temple. I don't okay. believe in that stuff. Okay. I don't need a Bible to tell me not to steal. I don't need the Quran For sure. to tell me not to cheat on my wife. Okay. So here, here's the point. When I look at the Zionists, I believe they're running this freaking world. Okay. I believe that if you look at Zionism as a whole, they control all the money. They control the politics. And if you look at it downright, almost every billionaire I know is Jewish. Personally, that I know is Jewish. Now, if it wasn't them, it'd be someone else. That simple. Okay, yeah. I mean, I know a lot of billionaires who aren't Jewish, but I, I okay, I just wanted to get some uh, clarification on that. Because the next thing I wanted to talk about is, you believe that Julian Kosogi was murdered because he had the word hog in his name. 
No, not be, no, not, no, not no, because. No, 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 no. Come on, man. That was a joke. Don't take those Twitter. Okay, stuff. got it. So that, it was, that was a Twitter. A no, you that said it. On, you said it. No, that, you that said was, those that words. Was, that was a, that, Jesus. That, that, that was that. When you look at CIA, okay. the CIA was found in 1947, the year of the pig. Mm -hmm. So again, so was the U.S. Air Force, by the way. Of course, of course. So when it comes down to it, um, I was associating the CIA being a pig faction with Kahogi. Now, if you really want to talk about it, CIA owns social media. That's why you have the word CIA in. Social media. That's why they call it social media. The CIA runs it. How is that? How does that? Work? CIA is in social media. The CIA oh, you mean runs, the, the they letters? Own, they, CIA, they own, they own got social it, got media. It, got it, got How do you think a guy like Mr. Beast becomes it? Like, all you have to do is look at Mr. Beast's logo. Uh, look at the same colors, that light blue, that pink. And all of a sudden you see, oh, wait a second. Those are the same colors as the transgender flag. And then all of a sudden his buddy Chris becomes a woman. This is all garbage. They controlled him. They paid him to do this stuff. Uh... Jenner, Jenner. Uh, yeah, uh, okay. Bruce, 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 yeah, Bruce Jenner. Okay. Um, Bruce Jenner got in a car accident and killed someone right before he made that transition. I personally believe, I can't prove this. I personally believe someone in a position of power came to him and be like, listen, you put on a dress, you start doing this, I we'll get rid of this stuff. I think he had transitioned before that, but he was named Woman of the Year four yeah. months after he yeah, killed yeah, someone. Yeah. That, that is a So, so I, I believe things like that happen. I look to ways to connect the dots, and sometimes I use numerology and astrology to do it. Sometimes I do it with common sense. For God's sake, you read a freaking book based on common sense. So, again, it, it, common sense is like a freaking superpower right now. Uh, the other one I thought was really interesting is that Yes, We Can from Barack Obama. You believe? Yes, we, we Can. Yes, we Can. So you believe, I, I believe, you believe that Barack Obama openly was like, hey, you know what? Yes. We're, we're, let's promote Wiccan ideology. Yes. And so that's why, why he was saying I, Yes, I, I, I believe that Barack Obama is the most powerful person in the U.S. government in at least 50, 60 years. He runs the deep state. He got Trump elected. And he uh, stole the election right from Trump in 2020. Uh, Barack Obama is the shadow president of the United States. And I fully expect Michelle Obama to be the uh, Democratic nominee. Okay, well, we'll get, finally, a predictable, a testable go. prediction. Okay. Bro, okay, very nice. Hey, man, I got ruined uh, last time because I thought Kamala Harris would be the president because I thought Biden would die before. <laughs> That's, yeah, that, that, I mean, but see, there's evidence behind that. Yeah. That's, you don't need numerology to I see that just, he's old. I just he's 80 years old. No, 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 no. Let's go, let's go through the president since you brought mm -hmm. it up. Joe Biden. It's an 11 life path. The president before him, uh, the guy who was the uh, Democrat before him, president, Barack Obama, 84 in 1961, another 11 life path. Before that, it was John Kerry running, born on the 11th. On the Republican side, John McCain, born on the 29th. Sarah Palin, born on the 11th. Over and over, you will see a majority of these candidates have 11 energy. By the way, my favorite president of all time, the last real president in American history, John F. Kennedy, was born on the 29th. Um, the other thing I want to uh, ask you about was the oh, idea two that... Two and nine, got so, it. Okay. So this is a really, you're, you're catching up, brother. Mm -hmm. This is a really controversial thing, mm -hmm. is that the idea that you believe that all homosexuals are created. There, there's no genetic uh, part of homosexuality or even hormonal. You believe that it's all behavioral and uh, uh, stimulus. Now, let's look at John. Uh, what's what's so, that guy who got fired from CNN? Uh, the Tom, John, Don Lemon. Don Lemon. Uh -huh. okay. Donald He's a Trump homosexual. was born on, a four, on the 14th. Yeah, okay. Uh, he's that? had a lot of women in his life. Yeah, I get, I get that, but he was the president too, right? I mean, does that? Can we go back to the subject? So, All right, go okay. ahead. Go. Yeah. What were you saying? Uh, you were saying that home, that one hundred percent of homosexuals are created; they're not born. Okay. Uh, Don Lemon, who's a famous homosexual, yep. um, He was molested as a child. Okay. I believe that when kids are molested. It changed their chakras, and all of a sudden, um, what they're interested in is more of a sadistic nature. I, uh, homosexuals are not born. They are created. How do you know this? Because right now, 20% of the youth, millenniums, basically say they're homo. They, they identify. They, they identify, oh, they as identify non binary not they, as homosexual. Whatever. Yeah. They identify with all that garbage. The point of the matter is, this is what happens when leftists get control of your school system. They start pumping this garbage down your throat because they want the family unit broken. That's why they do this stuff. They want the family unit broken, and it started with feminism. First, it was feminism. Uh, they got the, basically the women to say, you know what? We don't need these men. We'll have the government take care of us. What happened? All of a sudden, there's a whole bunch of single kids who are being raised by single mothers. And a woman can quote me on this. No woman can teach a boy how to become a man. It's not possible. So when you have a society based off single mothers, what you have is 
a whole bunch of beta freaking males who get created. And guess what? Those beta males start becoming more and more liberal. And then again, it goes deeper well, well, and deeper and deeper. I, I don't disagree with your last part, but the, the first part is you're sort of conflating two different things, right? So for instance, there are studies that show that people who are molested are more likely to molest. That is correct. We found studies in that. But the problem with what you're saying about the homosexual thing is that there's a study. Are you a, a homosexual? No. Okay. There's, a, there's a study. There's a study. It's called um, from, uh, what's it called? Um, uh, dataclism. Yeah. Remember the book Dataclism. So what they do is they look at gay searches by state, and it's the same in every state, the same number. So you're saying it's the same number of mol I, I, molestation I, I, per state. I would tell you there's probably a lot more homosexuals in California than there are in they South may have, Dakota. They, they may have moved there, but like mm -hmm. initially what they found is that there's the same level. Here's the other thing. When they look at abuse, the, the people tend to claim to be abused when they came out as homosexuals as young children. When they come out as homosexuals when they're older, they claim less abuse. So meaning what you're saying is that the redheaded stepchild child was abused because uh, because when he got abused, he became redheaded, as opposed to him being abused because he's redheaded. And the point is, what I'm saying is there, there tends to be higher levels of child abuse for people who are homosexual when they come out when they're younger. When they come out when they're older, it doesn't seem to hold the case. Also, the vast, vast majority of homosexuals do not claim to have been sexually molested. No, that's what they claim. You know, so you're, wh saying, you're saying like 90% variance. Of I, 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 I'm just using I, I, math. I don't no, care no, 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 no. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to say a couple yeah. things. I find it very interesting that when lesbian couples go to adopt, they don't care if it's a boy or a girl. It's 50-50. When gay male couples go to adopt, they want boys 90% of the time. You do the fucking math. What is the hell does that mean? You do the math. True. That's a fact. That That's up. a fact. Yeah, but, but most Chinese people wanted boys also. It wasn't to molest them. It's because they felt uh, that boys were more what, useful. I, all I'm going to tell you is two gay guys want little boys 90% of the time. You do the math. Whatever observation you come from that, that's good for so you. So I think you're, you're missing correlation with causality. Like what I'm saying is the priesthood doesn't make people into child molesters. Child molesters choose the priesthood. That's what I'm saying. I think it's there a combination are, they were of both. They, I, think were, it's a, I think it's a combination I, I of both. I, I think that because there's certain there's several priests who don't molest children. I think what happens is people who are, they're like, I'm, I, they're hiding the fact that they're pedophiles and they're hiding the fact that they're homosexuals and they look for a place to hide and they choose the I'm sure for predators do that. They've been yes, doing that forever. For sure. But what I'm basically trying to tell you, it's both. It's not just one. Well, that's both. what you said. You said that, that homo so, so there's plenty of proof that homosexuals are not created that they're born because there's, there's plenty of, because the distribution of homosexuals. I don't think homosexuals are born. That's what I'm saying. There, uh, there's plenty I don't of think homosexuals. I know born. we're, 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 we're agreeing. I agree that you don't yeah, believe that. Yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. Well, there's plenty of proof that they are born that way because I, I disagree. There's, because there's again, again, if what you're saying is true, then there wouldn't be a normal distribution of them throughout the country. Mm -hmm. What you'd have is mm -hmm. the, the states that have more molestation would have higher levels. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, the states in the South that like Mississippi, Alabama, and Georgia, they re report lower levels of homosexuality, even though that's probably a misreporting. But they have higher levels of child abuse. And so what would happen is you'd have higher levels of homosexuals coming from those states. You don't see. That. That's the math I'm trying to point to. Three percent of society uh, identified as homosexuals about 30 years ago. Now it's about 20. And that's, no, no, again, a, that's, again, a, that's a big again, difference. Again, again, you're, you're, that's you're, because you're of the, conflating, that, you're that's, conflating that's homosexual the narrative. You're, hold on, you're conflating yeah. homosexual I, I, males from like. like I, I'm, I'm telling okay, you, they're on. created. No, they on, are no, created no, okay. by the school hold, hold system, on, by the educational system. They are created. That's what I'm trying to hold tell hold you. Eddie Izzard and uh, and Caitlyn Jenner are both men presenting as women attracted to women. Okay, they're, they're both that, people who got paid off to basically influence other people to do the same thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe. My point is, my point is, men presenting as women like attracted to women are different from men who are attracted to men who are interested in men. Those are two different things. That's why I really have a massive problem with the lesbian argument with a gay argument. Those are two different I, things. I, gay, I, ho homosexual women have completely different biologies and neurologies than gay men. I don't know I, why I they agree. get drunk. I agree. Yeah. First of all, uh, I, I have no issues with lesbians. But that 20%, have, but that 20 is part let lesbian. Let me finish. Yeah. I have no problems with lesbians. Number one, lesbians don't really spread STDs. And most lesbians in a relationship, not because of sex, they're in a relationship because of a relationship or emotional bond. Gay men, when they're in a relationship, it's purely about sex. They spread STDs, monkey pox, all that other crap. There's nothing good that comes from that shit. Absolutely nothing. But I won't want to say this especially to the red pill community. You don't consider men and you don't hold women to the same standard as men, do you? Uh, no, you can't. Okay, I don't. I don't. Right, yeah, so you can. so my my basically what I want to tell you guys is if you guys hold lesbians and gays to the same standard, why? There's absolutely no need for I'm it a because lost. if you don't hold women to the same standards as men, you can't get upset at them for being lesbians because they're basically like kids. I'm definitely not upset of any woman for being a lesbian. I am very pro 
I don't have any. Yeah, you, what, 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 you're pro because I get yeah, it. You're yeah. a five. Look yeah. at this guy, man. All this stuff he talks you're about. Five, he, he runs this stuff, and he's a five life path. This is I what. He no, he's a, a three, three life path, but he's born on a fifth. My apologies. There was. I thought you were three. <laughs> got what else you got? I was looking at the. I, I wouldn't look at the stats for uh, uh, homosexual adoptions. I did not know that. Yeah, listen. Um, it's more, you're, you're, if, you're, you are correct. If, correct, if you go and you look at the LGBT flag, Studies the color that the gay col- male couples adopt girls more than boys, though. That's garbage. Gary's very wrong about this. 90%, 90% of gay men adopting more boys. Please check. Please stick to the facts. That's 100% fact. When it comes down to it, I want you guys to look, look at the gay flag. It has the color red on top and the color purple on the bottom. Red is the number of sexual. It's the color of sexuality. The first uh, vowel in red is E. The first vowel in sex is E. And when you look at that, you're going to see a correlation based off uh, E being the fifth letter, as we talked about before, five being the number of sexual energy. So when people want to basically, women who are listening, if you want to seduce people, wear the color red. That's why they have the woman in the movie The Matrix, the lady in red. There's certain colors you can wear to stimulate people in a certain way. Yeah, when, when, the like reason, and the reason for that is because it simulates the flushing of sexual arousal. That's why women put rouge yeah, on but, their but faces. We're, we're, not like trying to have a, we're not trying to have a discussion about yeah. gay marriage or anything. It was, you brought it up, not yeah, me. No, no, no. Listen, it was strictly <laughs> a mathematical equation. Yeah. Because I, this is something, and in evolutionary psychology, one of the things they want to know is like, why do people, some people become gay? One of the, the most prevalent Mass theories, propaganda. One of the most prevalent, again, the thing is you keep confusing. You keep throwing lesbians and trans people and homosexuals together. Homosexuals are by themselves. They do one thing, lesbians do a different thing, and trans people do a different thing. That's my point. So when that 20% number, 4.5% of men claim to be homosexual, that 20% number includes all those groups. And I'm not saying this because I'm an activist. I'm saying this because from an evolutionary psychology standpoint, there needs to be an explanation for something that's this pervasive. And there were no communists back during the Greek Roman times when there were also homosexuals. <laughs> and there were, no, there were no communists back during the book of Leviticus either when they also talked about homosexuals. So this is something pervasive throughout history. Why does it exist? The most common evolutionary psychology theory is that you had uh, about, four, about 20 I'm sorry, about 40% of men throughout history have procreated, about 80% of women. So you had surplus men, and this was maybe an evolutionary and, and, solution and, and for and surplus that, men. No, no. The, um, what happened was when so- they wanted society to start growing um, in the 1960s, no, 1860s in Russia, in the 1860s in America, they got rid of serfdom, they got rid of s- slavery because you cannot have a capitalistic economy. Uh, without a middle class and to have a middle class sure. you have to have a capitalistic economy so they got rid of all of that stuff um the whole point is this the elite they elite they want to build things up the, they want the to aristocracy build. Of the, the, there's always there's always an elite i'm I, for for lack of a better term i'll call them the rothschilds because that's a term that most people understand i'm pretty sure the rothschilds were the rothschilds around the mid I don't know. I don't know. They, they've been running. They've like, been running. They've been running the, the stuff actual, since the actual, 1815. The actual since family the wa- of Rothschilds have nothing to do with what he's talking about. It's no, just, uh, just uh, a term. This, he said. The, 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 the Rothschild family is the richest family on earth. They're worth trillions. Uh, where, I, I, where are you getting this uh, from? I would like to see the the, the individual you, you uh, think, net worth of the you, you people think, that equal you, up to you trillions th- of you dollars. Think, I'm pretty you sure think Elon. No, Elon. Yeah. Elon. Elon Musk said Putin's way richer than him. Is he? Is he a Rothschild? Putin, Elon? Putin and Elon are both Rothschilds, is what we, you're saying? Oh, I'm, I'm pretty. You don't get that type of money without actually. Coming okay, to so now we're we're one further level of extrapolation. Got it. Well, okay, so that, get, getting back to getting back to the. You, you think people uh, make two hundred fifty billion dollars and they're not coming backroom deals? Is that what you actually believe? No, but what what I think with especially you, you, with Elon, Elon and, got forty four billion in cash in cash to buy Twitter. You think common people can come up with that Twitter, type of money? But he was worth two hundred billion dollars in at stocks. The time. In yes. stocks. So you sell the stock? No, he didn't sell the stock. He lo- he, he basically took the stocks out for as collateral. And Bro, if loans. I had forty four billion dollars, he's the first guy I would loan the Where money the fuck to. Do he's the you richest keep guy in the world. Forty four billion dollars in cash. Like seriously, that, what do you it was a cash deal. Yeah, but what do you expect him to get? That's the like fucking the, the, the fact that uh, the, he could actually facility? the fact that he actually could prove that proves that he. You know, in two thousand ten, Barack Obama gave Mr. Musk a loan. Was it cash? It was about half a billion dollars. Barack Obama doesn't give people loans without um, actually having. You something said, but the U.S. Him. government gave him a loan. No, Barack Obama. Barack decided. Obama is worth over half a billion. Dollars. When he was running the government, he was. Okay, right. So another extrapolation. Uh, Barack Obama is running the government and worth over half a billion dollars. No, no, no. Barack Obama would actually. He, he, Okay, let me let me explain how foreign aid works because you guys don't seem to understand what it is. It's very difficult for politicians to steal money with foreign aid in the government. Stop, stop. It's very difficult for um, 
politicians to steal money within America. So what they do is they pretend like they're very noble, they're very righteous, and they need to help people. First, it was in Afghanistan. They used to send money over there, and it was a money laundering operation. They would send uh, $10 billion over there. $1 billion would actually go to the troops. They would steal the rest. That's how this works. And they do the same thing in Ukraine. Ukraine is a money laundering operation because that is how the Biden administration under Barack Obama works. If you works. can print the money, then why would you need No, no, the Rothschilds and the Federal Reserve print the money. Not, not the federal government. The Rothschilds print the money. These politicians... Then why would they these need poli- to these, launder it? These politicians are out here trying to steal it because they're the puppet elite. There's real elite, and there's puppet elite, then there's plebs like us. Do you, do you understand that if you actually have a trillion dollars and the federal government starts printing more money, that you as a Rothschild start to lose money because of inflation? That doesn't make any sense. They don't need, they print the money. Who cares? That's the Rothschild said. But the Rothschild said, but I don't, Rothschild said I don't care who makes the laws as long as I print the money. Okay, but who's doing the laundering? What do you mean? You said the Ukraine war was a money laundering. Of course, it's a money laundering operation. Who was doing the laundering? The U.S. government. Well, why yeah, would but they... the, the original thing I asked you, uh-huh. you said that f- half a billion dollars went to Elon Musk directly yes. from Barack Obama's checking account. Yes. And then you went no, to I didn't, No, no, no. I did not say his checking account. Okay. I said he's in charge of the government and he gave someone a so loan. That's what I said, the government. He's, he's in so charge of the government. From, from he's, in, government. he's in charge of the government and he has to sign something for people to get that money. He's the president of the United States. He has to sign laws and then Congress has to approve are you referring, them. Are you referring to the... The tax that the tax breaks that people got because the, the cars were electric is that what you're talking about? It's, uh, it's all a money laundering operation. Well, no, but, right? but I'm saying is that the money laundering operation? What I just said? No, 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 the, something the, else. The, the money, just, the, the, some money, other the, money. The, the money laundering operation, like when uh, Barack Obama sent about 1.5 billion dollars to Iran in cash. Why do you think he did that? Because he got kicked back 60 percent of that money. Barack Obama is a freaking billionaire. Barack Obama is running this freaking government under Biden, and he's basically making Biden look like a fool because that's what you want when you have a shadow president. You want a weak president. Barack Obama is running the show. He's the one who installed Trump, and you guys are severely— Barack sev- Obama installed Trump. 100%. And, wait, is Barack Obama also a time traveler? No. Because he has children. Yes. Okay, got it. All right. Oh, did, sure. Actually, he, actually you, we don't, case, we don't actually I, know those are his kids because, you know, Big Mike if might actually have issues let's doing just, that. Let's just follow the logic mm-hmm. here. If that's true, if Barack Obama installed Trump, yes. right, then what? Hillary must be really pissed off. Oh, yes. That's the whole point. Why, that's the whole point. Why would, would, you like why would he not it? Why Would he not? Would you like Hillary me to explain it? it? Sure. Okay, please do not interrupt. I know you're really good at that, but give me a second. Uh in 2015, uh, during the Republican National Convention, uh, during the debates, Barack Obama only mentioned one person by name. That was Donald Trump. There was 17 other Republicans running, Rubio, Cruz, mm-hmm. Jeb Bush, who was mm-hmm. the leader at that time. Yep. Yeah. And uh, he was the only person he mentioned by name. So wh- what happens? Me, oh, I see where you're stop, going Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Me and you mm-hmm. hate each other. Okay, let's just say me and you hate each other, and then you start talking shit about me. Mm. What's going to happen? You're going to send all your haters straight to me. Mm. That's the exact thing Barack Obama did when he started pressing Trump. He basically propped him up. Now, why did he want Trump to win? Because, you see, if Trump won, Hillary Clinton's done. If, tr- if Clinton won... She's in control of the DNC. She's in control of the White House. With Clinton out the way, he took over the DNC. Okay? So what you have to understand is James Comey— So Trump was more controllable than Hillary. You're you're completely off. Let me me finish what I'm saying. When James Comey relaunched the email investigation and Hillary Clinton a couple days before, that was the end of it. That was the end of Clinton. That was the end of everything. Comey would never have done something like that unless he had assurances from the very top. And the very top is Barack Obama. Now, what happens when Trump was president? He got kneecapped by the deep state with investigations over and over. So he basically needed Trump to get rid of Clinton. And now that Clinton's out the way, he stole the election in 2020 to basically have his third term through Joe Biden. And what I believe will be his fourth term if Michelle Obama actually wins the presidency or Big Mike, whatever you want to call her. So I believe Barack Obama is running this country. I believe Donald Trump was basically used to get rid of the Clintons. And I want to say this, as much as I have talked shit about Barack Obama for about 10 years, brother, thank you for getting rid of Hillary Clinton. 
He watches, Bra he, he, fucking vote. He watches the show, so if it's that's, good. If that's true, President then Obama. I will give you yeah, the applause there we go. for that, too. Awesome. Uh, By the way, is it true that, uh, I'm just assuming this based on your birthday, Hillary Clinton's probably the politician you hate the most? Oh, man, the politician I hated the most. Let me think about that. It might have been Harry Reid, actually, who the, na who the fucking... Oh, yeah, 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 okay. That guy, guy goes, you. this war is lost. That guy's a piece of shit. For, like, I'm literally, so, so listen to this. I'm Harry, literally fighting Harry, a war Harry and the Reed, guy's telling me Harry that. Reid was born in a cat year. That car bomb that almost killed him happened in the rooster year. His enemy signed. Okay. Uh, the, the thing is, with what you said before, I actually agree with the first part. I disagree with the second part. I think Barack Obama did it because he's arrogant. I think he arrogantly started caught, trying to talk shit. So here's what I think happened. He during, started during the 2011 the, the, uh, to, White House to, Correspondence to, yeah, Dinner. So, so I think in the 2016 election. So let's go back to the 2011, the Correspondence Dinner. I think he thinks that uh, Donald Trump is a joke at that point. He does. He under could totally and completely under First person who said President Trump correct. was President Obama. Right, correct. But I think he does so to make fun of him. Does that make sense? It's almost like yeah. if I call my girlfriend president. Well, the, the thing is, it did get a laugh. And he did he did yes. it at a correspondence dinner. He didn't do it in his memoirs, and he didn't do it when he's doing a press conference. He did it at a correspondence different d dinner, which is for comedy. That's the number thing. The first thing. The second thing is the, the entire media went after Jeb Bush and called him a Nazi, then went after fucking Marco Rubio and called him a Nazi. Then every single... Little Marco. Yeah, all of them... Called and canceled. Yeah, he called he called them all these names, and then they just sort of let Chris Trump Christie's a, a founding moment. Yeah, Chris, Chris Christie, <laughs> yeah. Chris Christie. They called him, you know, whatever. They called these guys radicals, and then Trump was just sort of like under the radar, and then just sort of passed all of them because the media had made all of these other candidates not viable. And, and none of that would have happened without Barack Obama propping him up in the very beginning in two fifteen. I, I don't know that I believe that. I don't know if that. But, exactly but he didn't mention said. anyone else's name, and as soon as he did, right. all of a sudden jump oh, because, Trump, he, because he's kind of. I, a, I he's also a, he's a bully, and that was I the also. Also believe. I, by the way, he's an ox. So yeah, they are bullies. But um, the point is, I don't believe uh, Donald Trump would have been viable unless they indicted him. I don't think Donald Trump would have been a viable candidate again unless they went after him. They're propping him up again by doing all this I, stuff. I, I, That's what I'm so, trying to so tell it, you guys. Here's the funny thing. I agree with you that that is actually makes him a more viable candidate because of this. I think it's going to uh, all in, done on in, purpose. I think it's going to enrage his base, but I don't agree that it's on purpose. I actually think they're arrogant. I think the, uh, the it, it, I think I think the the guy the Southern District of New York, uh, the the African American gentleman, the the Soros, the, yeah, Soros. Soros. No, not, not back, Soros, no, no, Soros, Soros back DA. Sure. The district attorney for the Southern District of New York, when he presses charges, I think it was really stupid for them to do this. And I think it's going to end up in, in a situation where it actually helps. That's them. the problem. That is the problem. You think these people are stupid when they actually do things on purpose. I work you for the federal government. They're pretty stupid. I think they are pretty stupid. <laughs> Not the top of the game, brother. The top of the game isn't. I think those are the most bought off people there are, but I think they're pretty stupid. The top of the game is never stupid. They think three, four moves ahead every single time, bro. I think. I think. I also think repealing Roe versus Wade is not going to help Republicans. I think it's going to hurt Republicans. I'm glad you brought that up yeah. because I actually told my Republican allies in Congress, I told them, stop talking about abortion. Stop talking about abortion because that's what kept the Republicans from sweeping it because of the abortion issue. Now, here's what I think happened. Barack Obama knew this would be an issue. He has dirt on every single Supreme Court justice, and he basically made those justices overthrow uh, Roe versus Wade. So all of these single mothers start voting Democrats. So now we only have uh, we don't control the Senate. Where if that didn't happen, we would control the Senate right anyone, now. I don't think anyone had to had to convince Clarence Thomas to be against abortion. I think that guy came out of the womb against abortion. No, no, I get it about yeah. Clarence Thomas, but I'm saying the timing of it. They did it. So you think you think Barack Obama blackmailed the Supreme Court justices into into a repealing Roe versus Wade? Um, the timing of it during the midterms. Yeah. Yes, I mean because what, yes. what, what would have been a lot smarter is if after the election had their candidate won, then like say Trump wins after the election, then to repeal Roe versus. No, Roe. no, no. You do it one. before the midterms because the Republicans would control the goddamn Senate if it wasn't for it. The the number one issue single mothers voted for in the last election was abortion rights. That's what galvanized them, and they knew it would. I'm telling you, you guys are over here that's thinking. Why they held up, they, that's they, why they. Yes, I, I will agree with you. You, on you that. guys think they're playing checkers. They're playing chess over I, here, I, guys. I I think we agree on the result. I think we disagree on the reasoning. I think that's I, I would. I agree with the tactics and the strategy side of things because you have you got Elizabeth um, Elizabeth Warren talking about like uh, what debt forgiveness for for uh, school loans. Yeah, and of course sure. that affects and, uh, disproportionately. Affects propping money. people up that is something one. that has happened throughout history. In 1938, mm -hmm. the German generals were ready to overthrow Hitler. Well, they were you, they were the ready lead. to overthrow him. Mm -hmm. And what happened? They sent in Chamberlain to give uh, UK Prime Minister Chamberlain in 1938. They gave him everything they wanted, part of Czechoslovakia. All of a sudden, the German generals can't do anything. 
Hitler's a hero. They propped him up because they wanted World War II. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. They do things on purpose, and you think these people are stupid. They're not. They think, do things on purpose. I think Chamberlain was stupid. I okay, think Chamberlain okay. was just stupid. Yeah, I, I do. So, so every every mistake people have made is because they're stupid, not because there's a higher power out there that are basically masquerading What's the higher things. power? What's that's, the higher see, power? What the I, Rothschild. The, the, so, Ro- the Rothschilds then told Neville Chamberlain to allow... Adolf Hitler to invade Austria, then Poland, okay. and then France. Okay, let, let, let's, let's, let's break this down. Um, Zionism. Okay. We talked about Zionism. that, right? Um, what was Hitler's uh, party called? You're a guy of history. The, the anti-social. I'm sorry, the, the national, you know, national, national socialist. socialist. National, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Soviet let's party. take the first two letters of national socialism and A. In and, German or in uh, American, English, 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 English? Because English is the dominant language in the world. So let's take the first two letters of national... Uh, so- no, it's not. Actually, it would be Mandarin Chinese. Yeah. I see. So we have, <laughs> we have China, uh, Chinese More signs. More people speak Chinese than we have, do, uh, English, we, but continue. We have ti- uh, signs in, Ingl- in America, mm-hmm. in Chinese, on the freeway. No, they have signs the in English. The most spoken language in the world is Chinese. If you go to other nations, all the highway signs are There are more are Chinese English. people than there are people who that, that might be. America sure that. is the dominant language in the world. America. English. 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 America. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Continue. Dumb, uh, dummy. Go, okay. go, proceed with your logic. Okay. So, um, where was I going? I, no, the Rothschilds okay. uh, manipulating yeah. the world. And by, the, by the way, let's just point out one other thing. Zionists. Adolf Hitler, there was an attempt on his life also during, like, uh, I believe, 1943 or 45. Oh, yeah. There was uh, a bomb. 19, he, was, he was on the other side of a pillar, and uh, it blew up. 1943. Like, what? 1943 is the year of the goat. Hitler is an ox. Thank you for proving my point yeah, about he enemy He didn't science. die. He lived. He was yeah. fine afterwards. Okay. And the guy who went after him, do you remember his name? I don't. Uh, he was born in 1943. He was born in the goat year as well. So the guy who tried to kill him was born. They made a movie on him, Tom Cruise. I forgot what the guy, Valkyrie, Valkyrie. Or, or something like that. So the guy who actually did that, the guy who actually tried to rise so the up Roth, against him. the Rothschilds are pro-Hitler and anti-Hitler at the same time, is what you're saying? No, no, I'm not trying to say okay. that at all. I'm trying to say that there's uh, elites and there's puppets. And people like Hitler, Obama, they're powerful puppets, but there's people above them. Okay. And the people above them will never see, will never hear of them, because they don't want to be heard. They never, they don't want, just like you said, you don't want people knowing what you have. You don't want anyone to know. They're the same way. Sure. They're the exact same way. The richest person in the world, you're never going to know what his name is. Unless I believe, you know, it's Rothschild, but you're not going to actually see it in Forbes or anything like that. Got it. Okay. You just think that they are trillionaires, but there's no record of them being trillionaires. Correct. Because Correct. they control the whole thing because they're Zionists and they control the, the media and the banks. And well, I, I, want, I want you to understand there's a difference between Zionists and Jews. Okay. Much the, the Jews were getting killed in the Holocaust. The Jews were getting for, my people were being killed in the Holocaust. Okay, in gas chambers. Thank you for the, 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 Thank the, you for admitting that there was a Holocaust. I appreciate course. that. Of course, there's a Holocaust. Okay, good. W- w- when did I ever say there was no? No, Holocaust? I know you did. I, not you, not you, bro. I'm just saying we've we you catch straight bullets from other. No, 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 no. I don't believe six million people died. Interesting. I don't believe now. If you look at the Jewish star, it has six points. They always like that number six uh, in the Jewish religion. I'm. I'm not going to go into it, but you guys can look it up yourself. But when I believe 250 to 300,000 people died in the Holocaust, that's my personal opinion. That's, that's a little nuts uh, that, that you think only that many people died. Well, if you look in the New York Times, they said there was a Holocaust in Russia that killed 6 million in 1903, 1913. Well, well the Russians, uh, lost, the Russians lost, lost 25 million people. That was in war. Yeah. For sure, that, like, that wasn't a Holocaust. Yeah, but some of those people were captured. Some of those the, people. The, a lot the, of only, the only Holocaust. That happened, the the, the only Holocaust shot. that happened in Russia was in Ukraine when Stalin uh, and his Bolsheviks were basically uh, starving the Ukrainians. They're starving the Ukrainians. Yeah. So like, that was a, that was a white Holocaust that no one wants to bring up. Yeah, no, I, I bring it up all the time. Whenever well, we're you're, you're about a Russia, snake, you're a snake. Whenever Russia, pe- talk, when, 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 people, when people are born in snake years, they're interested in history, like me and you. So you think the Holocaust was not six million Jews? It was three hundred thousand Jews. Yes, but I believe it happened. Okay, interesting. I mean, because there's just so many accounts that show multiple concentration camps. And also, these people are just sort of not accounted for. There's six million Jewish people that just sort of don't exist. So anymore. let's go back to what I was saying. National socialism starts with the N-A. Zionism starts with the Z-I. Let's add them together. N-A-Z-I, Nazi. So the Nazis and the National Social and the Zionists and the National Socialist Party basically uh, made a deal. And there's a book on it called The Transfer Agreement. I encourage everyone to read that book. Awesome. I'm. I'm just so. I just feel like I'm. Uh, what's her name? Marsha Clark. And uh, tra- <laughs> I'm still wondering why. Let, why. Why would the Rothschilds want to do any of this? Why would there? Why would there be some? You're. Sort of, you're. You're, you you're have, looking everything through your eyes. You have, I, through why. Why you do things. Am I gonna look through? <laughs> but that's that. That see. That's the beauty of numerology and astrology. You can look through other people's eyes because you understand how they think. Well, okay, you guys so are great at multitasking because you're threes. You're great at communication because you're threes. Why? Why? And you're would also they bored want very to? quickly. 
Why would they want to? Why would they, why would you want to start that kind of shit? Why would you want to? Why is it upon them to have societal change over the entire world? Okay. Um, why does anybody want? I, to I, I'll, I'll, I'll try to answer this this way. Um, March 2020, I started saying on Twitter, "Do not take the vaccine. It's going to kill you." That was my personal opinion. Sure. Nothing has changed since. I believe that. But is that the Rothschilds too? I'm sure. I mean, think about it. If the elite. You can only kill about 100 million people, 150 million during war. You put vaccines in people, it take out 4 billion. So it's a lot more efficient. But do they kill 4 billion? You believe 4 billion people are going to die? 67% of the human population. I, 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 be I, I believe with, well, the ones who got the boosters. Did you get boosted? No. Oh, why didn't you get a booster? Uh, just because I didn't see the need for it. I see. But you trusted the government on the original vaccine, but do, you didn't do, trust do them you on the booster. Know why, the reason why is because there was a co a sorry, uh, a SARS-CoV-1, and they developed a vaccine for this. So this idea that this thing was completely untested, it had, we already had tried to make vaccines for something very similar to a coronavirus like this. Coronavirus is actually, and the other thing is the coronavirus is very similar to- There goes to my monetization. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> my bad. We, we won't talk about this anymore. Okay, uh, we're, we're yeah. done. We're done with that. All right, the whole point- We're gonna do final thoughts, because no, they're, oh, gonna, oh, be just, they're gonna mean this. Let me just finish this. Good. Um, I went out, I got suspended over and over and over. It cost me money. But I still went out there and I told people not to get vaccinated mm -hmm. and I got suspended over and over. Why did I do that? Why do I need that for? It cost me money. Why do I do that? Because I needed to do that because I'm that type of person. The same way the Rothschilds are the type of person where they want to control people. If you understand numerology and astrology, it is basically advanced psychology. And um, my finishing thoughts. If you want to put money, money there's money. If you want to do it for, money. if you want to do it for a hundred thousand, if you want to do it for fucking half a million, you can put up thirty people, fifty random strangers, and I will all read them like a book. As a matter of fact, bring all your girlfriends around. I'll read them like a book as I, well. I have no doubt whatsoever that this would work on all. You know my what? Girlfriends. I got an idea. I just had a fantastic idea. I'm going to get Mark Savo and Nikki in here. They do the man on the street Let's kind do of it. interviews. Mark. Nikki, if you guys want to take this challenge up, you'll come to, you're coming oh, to Vegas have, at the end I have of May no, I, I, but it's come mental, here. It's mentalism. I have no the, doubt that well, what you're just going to say things. So I'm just a smart with. guy and who knows how to talk, sure, right? I, yeah, definitely, okay. I definitely agree. I'm, I'm a I little think, bit think, better think, than a good salesman. I think, I'm a little bit better than a good salesman. I think you would agree that you're a smart guy that knows how to talk. I think we're, we we're both born in you're the snake, just like me and you. I just The thing is, I just disagree with this idea that that somehow proves anything. What I would like is more tacit like tangible things that we can look I, I, at. In the I'll future. tell you what. So how about who's going to win the Super Bowl, I, I, okay. NBA championship, okay, okay. things like let's, that. Let's do this. Okay. Um, I have a group. I make people sign non-disclosures. I make I charge them a lot of money, mm -hmm. up yeah. to 20, 30K. If you're willing to sign a non-disclosure, I can I'll give it to you for free. And then you can go through my material and then you can go to tell the world what you think. If you're willing to do that, I'll do that for you. I'll consider that. Uh, here's the thing: mm -hmm. Do you have any? Do you have any predictions as far as like who's going to win the NBA championship? Yeah, let's do predictions. Who's going to win the Super Bowl? You said before you believe that uh, you said that Michelle or Michael Obama is going to be the candidate in 2024. Mm -hmm. What other predictions do you have? Uh, world economy, financial system resets in 2024. So what, what does it mean reset? Are we talking about a 50 degree, quick, a 50 percent huh? drop in the S and P 500? What are we talking about with the reset? Oh, I think there's going to be a 20 to 30 percent drop in S and P this really year. Re, that's not really this a re, year. So this, this year, year this you year. think it's going to be? I think there's going to be a okay. flash crash like there was in 20 to 30. Like, like there well, wasn't. Flash, uh, flash crash is not a reset. Though. Well, if a flash crash goes down 20, 30 percent, it can be. Right, but that's what happened in 1987, the last year of the cat. Right, but right, but it would have to stay down there. So of course, in order for stay down there, it goes up and down. That's what the market is. but for it to, for it to be a recession like what happened in 1929, like a I, be I, I believe the whole financial system to a point will reset in 2024. So not crumble, but it resets. Yes. Okay. Like a new Bretton Woods agreement, something okay. like that. Okay. So in the next, within I, the next, I, before I, December, I, be I believe that um, there's going to be a war within America and China, um, probably with. By the end of the decade, with, with missiles and like and like airplanes and aircraft carrier yes, groups, yes, you think there's yes. going to be a war between oh, those two countries? I, be, I believe it's going to happen. I, I think it's going to happen with two ways. Number See one, that. either Taiwan or number two in Manchuria. I think the Chinese would be much smarter to go into Manchuria and take that from the Russians than they would to go into Taiwan. Yeah, but we're not going to defend the Russians though. They can do that, and we we won't. Give well, a that fuck. that that's actually. Um, uh, United no, States no, is no. not going to stop China from invading uh, Manchuria. You, you would be um, sadly mistaken because the number one target is China, not Russia. Russia I agree with you Russia, on that. Russia, 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 Russia is oh, hitting that. out its weight class. Russia is not a problem. We, we agree on that. But, but you have to understand how this works. Um, the Visigoths and the Huns and the Romans were all at war together. And the Romans went to the Visigoths and said, listen, we got to take out the Huns. 
They all combined yeah. forces and they took out the Huns. And as soon as the Huns were taken out, guess what happened? They went after the Visigoths. That's how it works. Yeah, but they're still and I'm Huns. But what I'm basically trying to tell you is America would not allow the Chinese to have a port in Manchuria. I promise you that. Interesting. Mm. Okay, so, they, so that's, they, a pro, that's a prediction. That's a prediction. That is a prediction. Uh, Super Bowl or NBA championship? It's too. It's you don't too, know. You can't do that it's, one? It, okay, can it's you too, at least too, too. give me the fucking Stanley Cup right now? Because I really need to know if my Golden yeah. Knights are going to fucking win. <laughs> I don't think the Vegas is Golden Knights are going to win. Fucking asshole. Uh, <laughs> any, 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 any individual predictions for uh, Rolo or myself? Okay, let's do that. Um, three, two, 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 three, seven. Uh, you're going to start cutting off uh, a lot of people this year. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're definitely going to start cutting off people, and you're going to start working a lot more this year. You, I love you, bro. Don't leave me. Oh, uh, it won't you, be you. Trust me. <laughs> I can oh, think no, of you're, a few you're, names. You're, you're backing this guy all the way. Uh, six to, to, to seven. Uh, right now, um, October fifth, nineteen seventy-seven. So right now, you're in a three-year cycle. Three-year cycle is about blah blah blah, talking, running your mouth, meeting people at the blue. You always want to meet people. After your birthday, you're going to be in a four-year cycle again. Expect to be cutting people off and being one, more of a homebody. Do you see how that's really generic? No, it's really, not. It's not really, generic because really fucking because generic. the fact of the you matter know? is, if I do, I do, I give readings for people for eighteen hundred hours for forty-five yeah, minutes. Got it. It's got five okay. minutes. Come on. Okay. I'm, if you want to do an actual reading off this, I will do it for you, and then you can go back and tell people accurate. <laughs> I'm not going to bore people to death and yeah, do it no, right I here. I, okay, um, I have not I, I, had Rich Cooper in my chat room in like, I can't even, I, I can't even remember. Years I, I, ago. Ask Richie. Rich is in the yeah, chat right ask, now. Ask Richie was big out the Shout out to Rich Cooper. Ask Richie was worth uh, giving Andrew 10 million just to promote his ass. But whatever. <laughs> all right, we, we're out of time. We got we to we hold up. Can we do uh, can you, one more summary? Just go ahead and explain like where we can find you and all this yeah, kind yeah, of stuff. Uh, my yes, name is Gary the Numbers Guy, a.k.a. I started GG33. Whether you believe in numerology or not, that is the group in the world when it comes to the occult. Um, here's what it comes down to. I want you guys to understand something. It doesn't matter what I believe, what you believe, or what they believe. The only thing that matters is what people in positions of power, the people who have the money, the people who have the wealth, the people who have the knowledge. And basically, if you look through history, you will see that things happen on certain dates for certain reasons. Start putting in the legwork. Put in the work. He wants to say numerology and astrology. I'll compare this to the gym. You probably went in there one time, did a couple push-ups. Oh, this shit don't work, and you gave up. The point is, put in the work like you do with everything else in life, and it will start making sense, I promise you. And, okay. and you know what? At the end of the day, I'm the only person the in my field. The harder I work, this. the more I okay. manifest okay. in so, my bank so, account. So my, my whole thing is, I definitely think you would have been the greatest goddamn defense attorney of all time. I think <laughs> I think you really missed a calling there. One hundred percent, you should. Or Baptist minister. One hundred percent, Baptist yeah. minister. <laughs> and I and if, if you had if you had taught a pickup course, stroll solely. My brothers and sisters, I think you, I love you. I can do that too. I, I, think, I get it. I think you'd have made half a billion dollars teaching a pickup course on the strike. I, I, I basically uh, that, run. I that, teach billionaires that, now, that so being, it's okay. That being said, the fact that you make money is not proof to me. It just, it, it to me, it's like very similar. No, to no, 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 no. People who are worth a lot more than me and you hire me to for actually sure. do stuff for, sure. for them. And, and guess what? And guess what? Those people. If you're going to call them stupid I'm because they come stupid. to me or all that other stuff or misguided all right, or all this misguided. other stuff, yeah. the, 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 the fact of the matter is this: people who run things and have money. They have sway in this world. They're coming to me. I'm the only person in my field they come to. And at the end of the day, uh, I'm going to shove numerology and astrology down people's throats whether they like it or not. That's, a, that's apparent. The thing is, I also know some very, very wealthy people who don't believe in that and actually consult with computer scientists and physicists okay. and other people like that in order to get their Guess information. Guess what? And they, I, don't, they don't believe in astrology. I get the last talk word. To me, have the, this is my fucking show. So Amen, brother. What I'm going to say is that when we don't understand shit, we will apply our own imaginations to that shit. It's called metaphorical truth, right? It's like if you, it doesn't necessarily have to be 100% factually absolutist, but if we don't know what it is, we'll call it vibing. We'll call it magic. We'll call it energy. We'll call it whatever. And until we have some sort of science that's going to drag it out of the metaphysical and put it into the physical, then we're still going to have the, we're all, as human beings, we're always going to want to find some sort of, uh, you know, answer in the stars or some bullshit like that until we can figure it out. At some point, we're going to figure out that this is bullshit or it's not bullshit, or maybe we're both right. And in that case, we pull it out of the realm of faith and we put it into, into the real world where we can actually use it. So hopefully you guys got something out of today's show and you can actually use it today um thanks for coming in first off because you 
answer the challenge that nobody else has. You came in here, you put your, you put your balls uh, you, on the line, you, put your you money on the table, you came in here, and you actually flew your happy ass into Vegas. This is my second home. This. this is my second home. Exactly. Vegas is a snake city. I live in Florida, snake go. state. I, I base my life yeah. around this stuff. Big and the fact that, the and the fact that I'm successful <laughs> is basically proof that I know what the hell I'm talking but about. Yeah, but there's a lot of people who don't believe in astrology that are also All right. successful. Chase, Amen. Yeah. sing us out of here. <laughs> there we go.